Hello, everybody. My name is Cameron. I'm playing Graveyard Keeper tonight. Happy Spooktober, everybody. That means October for those who are less inclined to realize that the colloquially spook with the Halloweens. Halloween happened in, Hall in, in October, end of month. Spook. Spook is Halloween. Halloween spooky. Pumpkin stuff. I don't know. Before we started, before we started here, I tried to find the closest thing pumpkin related in my apartment. And uh, as it turns out, usually my fiance makes pumpkin muffins. So there's usually like a spare can of pumpkin around, which I was planning on chugging. If somebody were to drop like $5 right now, just kidding. Please don't donate money. I have a full-time job now. I don't need it. Unless you unless you want to support the cause by allowing me to get more. Like You know, I, I'm honestly questioning now how much like $5 would get in pumpkin in a can. Although, honestly, I'd like to see what $100 of pumpkin looks like in a can. But the closest thing I could find was this cornstarch. So, um, cornstarch, everybody. Happy Spooktober. But more importantly, more importantly, Spooktober time calls for things that are special. And I, for one, think cocktails are a very special thing. So I'm taking one out of the book tonight. Again, we've got something from the geeky bartender here. My voice is all muffled now, but I assure you on the other side of this page that was muffling my voice is a little recipe for a yellow potion. It seemed simple enough with the cocktail ingredients that I had on hand. So we're going to start with that before and as a as a part of me showing off what I managed to procure this weekend at a townwide garage sale back in my hometown. It was lovely. I got some new glasses that I can't wait to showcase. So I've got Still trying to figure out this whole setup here, but I got this table over here that I'm gonna drop my camera down to, and we can get a better view of uh, the mixing station. The mixing station. Yeah, I'm gonna call it the mixing station. Excuse the little uh, joyride that just we just went on there. I need to put this in the correct location. I think that's perfect. Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're still working on camera angles around here, but look at this fancy uh, shirt. It's great. I need ice in a glass. In a shaker. I'm gonna go get ice in a shaker. In the meantime, take a look at this other shaker. It won't take long, I promise. There's a bunch of ice in this fridge. I have it just for the occasion. At the garage sale over the weekend, I found myself a cooler, which means if I plan things out properly going forward, I can actually have this stuff prepared ahead of time. But uh, who really does, who really prepares things ahead of time? Actually, you know what I did prepare ahead of time? I grabbed orange juice, like 10 minutes ago. I literally just ran back from Target. I went to the store. Crazy me. All right, so, oh, it's not Yellow Potion. I'm sorry, it's called Hero Drink. I can't read. Hero Drink involves placing two ounces of light rum into a cocktail shaker to start out with. So I'm gonna put two ounces of the lightest rum that I have. <coughs> it's Bacardi. Where's my, where's my measuring thing? Here's my measuring thing. Anyway, I'm gonna put two ounces of this little guy little guy two ounces of this guy into our glass place that i also find that cocktails are oddly appropriate for this game which i've been playing this is the third time ever in a couple weeks i've been playing this because i'm obsessed with it now and i really only get the i still haven't figured my schedule out very well to be able to play game more than once a week so we get Graveyard, which is perfect for Spooktober. It's perfect. But cocktails, cocktail, spirits, spirits, the dead. It's a, it's a pun. And I'm not even going to be remotely apologetic about it. Just, you're welcome. I also need one fluid ounce of banana schnapps. The closest thing I have is these 99 proof bananas. Is it schnapps? No, it's banana liqueur, but it works. It's not creme de banana. It's not, actually, I think technically it is schnapps. Is it? Is this schnapps? Schnapps, as I discovered with the gentleman at the um, at the liquor store the other day. The other day was like a couple months ago. Schnapps is just a spirit distilled from fruit or other botanicals, which describes I feel quite a lot of different spirits in my opinion. Anyway, I've got 99 bananas, but a but, but a bitch ain't one. I guess. Anyway, banana juice. <laughs> Essence of banana. Quintessential essence of banana go into the cocktail shaker along with the lightest rum I could possibly find. Good evening, Astro. We've got cocktail recipe coming your way. 
In addition to the two fluid ounces of light rum that I already placed in my shaker and my one fluid ounce of banana schnapps, I need one to two fluid ounces of orange juice, pulp free. Uh, all right, pulp free. We got it. Pulp fiction? Well, fiction is the absence of truth. Then yes. Pulp Fiction. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I have more space over here so I don't completely mess things up. I need two... <laughs> Not only do I need two ounces, but I need two. open up the orange juice because I just bought it like three minutes ago at my local Target. Two ounces. Now, supposedly, I pour these things wrong. Uh, we discovered that one time, but it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. And I only need two ounces of it. I only need two ounces. There we go. Did I shake this? Does it say shake well? I definitely shook it on the way over here. As I said, I kind of rushed from the target. So, I'd say that's shaken enough. I'll take my orange juice. Stirred. Not shaken. You heathen. Uh, and I need two fluid ounces of pineapple juice. I know I had pineapple juice over here. Where'd I put my goddamn pineapple juice? Excuse me. I misplaced my pineapple juice. Where'd a pineapple juice at? I definitely took a container out. But now we have another one. <laughs> Look at that! Pineapple juice. Dole! Dole brand pineapple juice. I need two fluid ounces of that. And I know just as much as everybody else, I never use enough... I, I never use the full can of pineapple juice, so two ounces are going in the glass. And then the other ounces... Oh, maybe I should have shaken this too. I'm gonna shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I'm just kind of wiggling it. Wiggling it is okay. It agitates the liquid, the precipitate, and the solution just enough for it to be palatable. There we go. Two ounces. There we go. Put that in my... my shakar. Put that in my shakar. The shakar don't get it. The shakar don't get it. That's good. That's very, very good. And so, after which, after applying all these particular ingredients, the light rum, the schnapps, the orange juice, and the pineapple juice, it also says ice cubes, but like, there's ice cubes in there. It's fine. I'm gonna give it a shake. And this is gonna be hero drink at some point. While I'm shaking it, let's, uh... It's apparently inspired by Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is a series of... You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it after I'm done with the shaking. Yeah, I'm gonna get that shake on camera. It's an unflattering ending, I know. But we're still working on things. It's always a work in progress. Before I pour that out... Final Fantasy is a series of science fantasy RPGs developed by Square, now Square Soft. The hero drink, also called Hero Cocktail, is a recurring item in the Final Fantasy series, first appearing in Final Fantasy V, or V. Although the effects vary from game to game, it's generally a powerful stat booster. The color, whenever depicted, is always bright chocobo yellow. Drink this to cause 9999 damage to your liver. Alright. Update! Astro found a girl in your neighborhood and you've been talking for like two-ish weeks now! So we're going walking in the neighborhood to get out of the house and whatnot, and this is the second time you've gone walking together, and she surprised you with a kiss right in the beginning of the walk? Do not apologize for the long text! This is a wholesome moment! That's beautiful! That's so great! That reminds me of back in high school, when I first started dating my fiancé, the biggest moment for me was when we started holding hands in the hallway. I was like, oh, this means I've totally made it. It was so cute. It was awesome. But in celebration of that surprise kiss, I want to showcase some very cute little glasses that I got from a... I think I got these from a thrift store along the way to Gen Con over in Indianapolis. This is a terrible angle. Close this book. Here a drink, everyone. I'm going to move these back. This is so cute looking! Look at how freaking cute these glasses are! They're so tiny and so dainty! I have... My drying rack is my air... Is my drying rack is my washing machine. Or wash... Dishwasher. Not washing machine. Dishwasher. Do, do you throw your glassware to dry in your washing machine along with your clothes and stuff? Anyway. So it's right beneath like a faux granite countertop. So one time, I took one of my fancy glasses. Not these ones, of course. These are too dainty. And I lifted them up ever so slightly and whacked the glass on the granite countertop as I brought it up and shattered the whole thing. And I was like, no. Anyway, I am very more careful with these guys. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if the, what, eight ounces of liquor, seven ounces of liquor that I got can spread evenly between these three glasses. We're gonna give that a shot. And I'm just gonna slurp from one of these four glasses the whole night. It's great. Ah, uh, they do look awesome. 
They remind you of the cup kid uh, of the cup kid from Beauty and the Beast. And the oh, there you go, like a uh, chip, chip with the with the chip in it. Honestly, I could probably take this little strainer right now and whack it real hard, and it'd probably look like I'm a little bit more because of, you know the whole chip aspect of it. I once saw a very demented picture of Chip as as a as a real human, and he had like a concussion and a big gape in his gap in his skull. It was, it was terrible. Anyway, dude, this smells like orange and banana, which pleasant combination, I guess. Um, this is gonna make a small little mess, but if I don't do it good, which I might not. So let's see if I can. Oh, a little bit. Ah, this might actually work. I'm not sure if I'll be able to fill them all up. A uh, fill them all the way up or I'll have even more than my glasses could possibly comprehend look at that I have even more than my glasses could facilitate <laughs> Hero drink that's awesome. I Love my little dainty cups It's great as funny as it would be to crack glasses on camera. Let's not anyway this is Imagining everyone They're not very I need to <laughs> As, as Instagram would demand, I must line these up for the shot that will be in the thumbnail later. So let's, let's blind the audience with a flashlight. Flashlight. Look at how cool this shit looks. Ooh. Ooh. It's so cool looking. Ah. Aesthetics. Anyway. I'm going to put these in a, an accessible location so that I may consume them. In a little bit and move this table out of the way. Hey, you don't need this table. Hey, look, it's my pants. Hilarious. Move camera upward. Back over here. Hi, everybody. We're back to the regular location. And now, see how it tastes. Hero drink. Drink for hero. If I am enemy, I will take damage to the point where I die. Unless I super powerful enemy. I'm not super powerful enemy, so I might die. All right, tastes like banana and orange. Yeah, it's cute. It's not bad at all. It's very cute. Pleasantly banana. It kind of tastes like I have bananas that I bought from the store a couple days ago. Tastes like those. Doesn't really, I, I gotta say, it's not very orange strong, but it's not very banana strong either. I'm cool with this. Hero drink, everyone. I did not take 9999 damage, so I must not be an enemy. I must be the hero of this story! I'm not super powerful, but super powerful enemy boss. <laughs> hey yo, anyway. Back to Graveyard Keeper. And, um, yeah. Let's get this shindig started. Playing with the dead. The dead must play. The dead. The dead done do the da 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 Anyway, mixology over. I need to click the button. I've been playing this game for 50 days so far. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, 50 in-game days. I'm sure people have speed run this better than I have ever. I'm not making very much progress. I'm uh, bad with the whole progress thing. Not making, not making good headway on that. But alas. Anyway, <laughs> if you're beginning, finally, 15 minutes later, Anyway, my big, you might tell from the title of this particular video, at least on the Twitch side, I don't know what it's going to be called on YouTube, Just don't bother me. I need the blues. See these blues? See those blues? Can I see that? Look at those blues. Observe the blues. I have no blues. I need blues. Apparently, best way to get blues is to like, um, do church. So we're doing church. Doing church and... Excuse me, certain recipes at one of these tables give the blues. And so I need to do that. I have other tasks that I can accomplish, but this seems the most important. Most important to be getting the blues. The blues in the basement. Um, and I need, I need, I'm going back down here because I need to remember what I do because it's been a week and I constantly forget. I can make clean paper from ruined books. Uh, I can make notes if I had ink. I don't have a lot of ink. Uh, in order to create ink, I know I need black paint. I don't know yet how to procure black paint. Black ink. Ink. I need black paint. How does one procure black ink? Black paint. I don't know. I'll find out eventually. I could also use... I also need conical flasks. K 
can't get conical flasks because you know what that requires? <laughs> Here he goes again. It needs... Hold on. Finding conical flasks. Conic... Freaking conical... Where's the freaking... Glass blower. Conical flask. You know what? <laughs> it needs 10 blues! But there are no blues. So I need to make up for this somehow. And I think the way to make up for it is to purchase feathers because I can't get feathers on my own. And purchase ink because I can't get ink on my own to create pen and ink. With the pen and ink, I can create notes at this table. The notes should give me... Should give me faith. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take all the money that I possibly have at my disposal, which is four silver and 63 copper, and go buy some stuff. And I think I could use my... Can I use my teleport waystone? Teleport day? Nope, didn't want to eat the carrot, but I ate the carrot anyway. Lighthouse. Lighthouse. Oh, I thought I could buy... Oh, I need to wait for the astronomer. When is the astronomer astrologer comes on moon day? That's in two days. I will have to wait on that. Well, while I'm over here, I think it is the right time to also... <gasps> I forgot to say what else I found. Over the weekend, I went to a th uh, townwide garage sale, and I got a couple of different things, including, but not limiting to... Um, not those glasses that I showed. Those are from a completely different thing. But I also got... Dude, check out this kick-ass decanter. I gotta, I gotta show you this kick-ass decanter. It's big. It's so big. I, I really can't describe it other than it's big. It's so big. And it currently holds all of the unknown whiskeys that I had in my collection. Now it's an unlimited whiskey container. Unlimited because when you take stuff out of it, you're supposed to put stuff back into it so it never goes empty. I made a cocktail with it last night. Wasn't very good. But I also got, for $5, an espresso machine. My tip to everyone... Check out your neighbor's yards and garages and see what they want to get rid of because then they might be yours for the price of $5 for an espresso machine. And I don't even know how much I paid for the decanter, but I can't wait to use this thing. I haven't used it yet, but I will. I promise I will. I promise I will. I'll use, my, I'll use the espresso machine at some point. I've just been stealing all the espresso and stuff at work, so what's the point of making it at home unless it's a weekend? But why am I drinking coffee on a weekend unless there's something wrong with me? There is something wrong with me. So, I'm happy to do so. What's up, Dig? Did I have anything to do for you? No, you just kind of sell more hemp seeds and oils and stuff. I need the Astralamal Lavager. Fine, what else can I work on in the meantime? I need to figure out how to get old books. It'd be awesome if there was like a librarian in town that I could beat up. Dig, Dug, Diggity, Dug? Dig! Uh, he's not very Dug. Although, Dig does produce dung, I'm sure. I don't know if he has the capability to be able to... I, I don't know if he knows how to, like, wipe himself clean. He doesn't seem like... He doesn't seem all there, and I'm not sure if he knows how to wipe. He might. Genuinely can't tell. But I don't know. I'm gonna buy myself some more flowers. Uh, <laughs> flowers? <laughs> it's not a flower. <laughs> it's a feather! Anyway, I'm gonna buy that. And I also need ink. Ink is a lot more expensive, but eh, whatever, whatever. But I need to wait till Sunday to be able to do that. I also need a means to procure to procure more capital. And the best way for me to procure capital is is to sell stuff. What can I sell? I, don't know. I can't remember what I've been selling before. Let's check at the dead horse and see what the dude over here would say. Hey, can I talk to you yet? Okie dokie. Guess not. Trade? What can I trade you? I know the blacksmith buys iron parts, so I could take some of the iron I have and sell that for coin. Let's take some of the iron I have and sell it for coin. Iron. I'm going to create stuff with the iron and then sell it for coin. For example, complex iron parts. Mm, but I need more regular iron parts for that first. Let's do that. Knock, knock, knocking away. I'm not exactly sure how much this all sells for, so... We'll see. We'll see how much that and some complex iron parts will get me. Complex iron parts. Let's make eight of them. Sounds good to me. I don't know. And then we'll sell it to, uh, Kreswald. Kreswald the blacksmith. I'm gonna run out of energy, aren't I? Oh. 
I was so close. Eat the apple. So close. There we go. Now let's make our way back to town with the teleport waste stone. I love the fact that the teleport tele waste stone thingy bubba. I like that that's a thing. I remember watching a guy on TikTok. His name is Dominic, and he's a game studies major, which is apparently like it's it's become a thing recently. Game studies, like studying like how games like emulate the real world, how it makes people feel about the real world. That's always an interesting thing. But he discussed in one of his videos, he said he talked about the uh, the concept of like uh, fast travel and how it removes people from like the realism of a game and. That it's kind of bad, but I don't really know. Hey, that's your name? Astra's name is Dominic. I've always liked the name Dominic. It'd be cool if it had an X in it. But then, like, the closest thing between X name and Dominic is Dominator and Dominatrix. So if that's where we want to go with that, all right, so be it. But I, you don't have to. We don't need to go. We don't need to go that far. This is not one of those streams where we talk about potentially inappropriate things, or maybe it is. Dominatrixes aren't inappropriate. It's just BDSM shit. It's not bad. Let's stop. Let's stop training today's youth to look at sex as a bad, bad thing that should be talked about only behind closed doors. Let's have an open conversation about it. Are you a dominatrix? Drop a link in the comments to your only... Don't. I will report that as sexual harassment. Although... If you feel so inclined to DM me your link, I might not block you. We'll just stick with Dom for now? That's fine. We'll just stick with Dom. And anybody who says that's short for Dominatrix, that's your prerogative. I'm gonna try to go fishing. This is a fishing spot. I'm gonna go fishing. I don't have baits. I don't, I don't remember how fishing works on this. Actually, I've never been taught how fishing works. But I want to catch me a fish. Oh, oh, did I do it? No, okay, apparently when it bobs like that, it's no good. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. I'm kind of out of energy. I sold stuff for monies. Dom says he's always the Dom. It's in the name. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Wildly inappropriate there, Astro. Wildly inappropriate, please. Contain yourself. There are children watching this stream, myself included. I am I am the child in this instance. I am a 23-year-old child. Actually, how does that doesn't sound very good. Does that make me look bad? Does that make me does that make me look bad? I don't really know. Is calling yourself like I've always had so my fiance, my fiance likes to call herself a child, like a child at heart, child of the brain. She's like, I'm mentally five years old. That rubs me the wrong way personally actually it shouldn't rub me at all that's weird but it rubs me the wrong way so i am a child at heart not of brain i i am a child only in mentality and only when necessary ah <sighs> technically that would mean i can't stream if i was if i was doing the dom dom stuff nah why am I? What? Oh, I wanted the mushroom. That's what I wanted. You know, what's the newest OnlyFans stuff? Didn't the OnlyFans specifically say, like, just recently, they're like, we're banning all sort of sexual content on our platform, and then they're like, <laughs> just kidding. Because that seems absolutely like an internet-y thing to do. It's just crazy. Today is Upward Day. What can I do on Upward Day? I can talk to the Inquisitor. I need 20 firewood and 10 flyers. Well, I don't have... Do I have firewood in my inventory? I don't have firewood in my inventory. Oh, they redacted the statement so quickly. Yeah, geez. Hey, OnlyFans, do you not realize that most of your content comes from the stuff like that? Like, come on. Be real. You know your profit source. Just accept it. Just let it happen. Ha la 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 la. I'm gonna go up to the top of Witch Hill to give the Inquisitor, the guy who burns witches, 20 firewood. What's the firewood going towards? <laughs> Burning witches, obviously. Everybody knows that. Get with the program. It's medieval times. Everybody knows heathens aren't allowed. Duh. I, for one, don't support the conflagration of any 
any human being, no matter what practice they have, no matter what religion they follow, no matter what occultist practices they may hold near and dear to their very existence, their soul, if you believe in one. Setting humans on fire is not cool, unless they were prepared for it and they're trained professionals, in which case, light me up, daddy. Or don't, you know, we don't we don't have to light anybody up. And, and you don't have to be daddy either in this case, but like, you know, anyway, <laughs> firewood. I'm glad to see you're with us in our righteous battle. Um, and I need to give you flyers. Okay, <laughs> you know how to make flyers? You know how to make flyers? I'll tell you how to make flyers. You need... Five blue points! And I don't have any blue points. No blue points for Cameron. Uh-uh, no good. Needs more blue. Anyway, that's all I can talk to you about today. Which up on which hill? Up on which hill? <laughs> that hill, of course. <laughs> I hate myself. Somebody at work asked me. Apparently, there's a game we uh, sometimes play as uh, as coworkers on uh, Friday, where you try to make like the best pun. And I had self-proclaimed that I'm not very good at puns. I can be good at puns, but they have to like come to mind. Like I can't just like throw out puns. They have to be contextual. Like we were just talking about which hill. Like which hill could it be? Like that's a pun, and because we said which hill, but I wouldn't just walk in a conversation and be like. Witch Hill. Get it? Because witch is in the preposition or literary device. Actually, I don't know what kind of word witch is. I don't know, to be honest. It's not a preposition. A preposition is not the. The is an article. A definite article, as opposed to an indefinite article. I know that. Um, what is witch? I don't know what type of... Yeah, I legitimately don't know what kind of word witch is. Which ever? Which where? Mm. Whatever. I'm undoing these. <laughs> There's vines all over the place. I'm getting rid of them. I'm getting rid of the veins. I'm getting rid of the veins on these things over here so I can plant my woods. Plant the hemp and seeds and whatnot. Um, I am. Ca oh, that's what I was working on. I was working on grabbing some cabbages. Cabbages, my dude. Cabbages and beets and hemp because I wonder if you can actually smoke the dank in this game. I mean hemp is an object Maybe that's why Doug isn't all there Perhaps Doug is just stoned out of his mind like all the time in which case <laughs> Good for you Doug. I can't do that. I'd be too I'd be too pent up all the time I feel like different substances cause different effects in different individuals your experience may vary I, for one, under the influence of certain ca uh, cannabinoids, such as the marijuana, gets incredibly anxious. Anxious and confused. And I don't like being confused. I feel, feel very insecure when I'm anxious and confused. So I tend to stray away from that stuff. Alcohol makes me feel giddy, so that's my, um, that's my vice of choice. Uh, but I went to go see the Inquisitor today. Tomorrow is Moon Day, and on Moon Day, we get to see the Astrologer. And I, I like that. I like Astrologer. I can't cut down these freaking trees because I'm not good enough. I don't have the right technology to cut down big trees. I think it's a restriction on big... I'm trying to think of like, you know how we call like, like, um, we call, like, uh, a pharmaceutical companies, like, Big Pharma, or, like, gasoline companies, like, Big Oil, or Big Gas. What's, what's the term for, like, big religion? Like, the Vatican, and stuff like that. Because the kingdom, probably overruled by the religious sects of the church, and the inquisitors, and the preacher, preacher man, and me, I guess, because I'm technically a priest in this game. But, like, what do we call them? Big Jesus? We've been overrun by Big Jesus! Big Jesus dictates no alcohol for you. And we're like, nah, man, I reject your reality. I'm gonna drink all the stuff I want and go to hell. And like, whoa, dog. Careful what you're saying there. Caref careful what you're preaching there, sir. 
but um, I don't know. I think, what was I just talking about? Big Jesus is restricting us on what? In this game, what was it? Oh, because I can't chop down large trees. Big Jesus is preventing me from chopping down large trees. Big Jesus. I will say, I will say, Disney Queen, you said that in ironically lower, in uh, ironically all lowercase letters. It's gotta be all caps. I'm talking not just uh, Big Jesus. I'm talking Big Jesus. It's literally called a mega church. This is true. Dude, props to that one mega church preacher who somehow managed to talk his way out of like, they're like, yes, God intended for me to have a jet plane. Like, he also, I don't remember his name, but he literally looks like a demon, in my opinion. He's got that smile. He's got that smile. It's scary. It's scary. Scary, scary, scary. I have all this shit in my inventory. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna put my stones away, put my wood away, put my stones away. I said that, put my, that away. Uh, I don't need the complex iron parts. We'll put that away. Uh, B, B, B. Wedges, fitches, sticks. All right. Essentially Catholicism or however it's spelled. It's just the mega church. And yeah, he really do look like the devil. He do. I wish I could remember that guy's name. But, yeah, he, like, bought himself, like, a jet plane. He was just, like, with, with like, money from the church. He's like, it's so I can preach the world, preach the word to the world. Like, pressing X to doubt there just a little bit. Just a hop, just a hop bit. And I put some peat in that. Gonna lather the ground in literal shit. And uh, then, you know, we'll plant something. Uh, cabbages? Yeah, cabbages. Uh, beet seeds? Don't have enough beet seeds. I got wheat seeds, though. Plant some wheat. And I got, uh, got hemp. Got hemp? Oh, yeah, I got hemp. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got hemp, all right. What else do I have in my inventory? Uh, I'm gonna put seeds in the seeds chest. I need more beets, don't I? I definitely need more beets. Uh, I got to put those in there. I need more beets, and I've already replanted the cabbage. I got crop waste. Put that in there. I don't have, yet have enough cabbage or beets yet. I don't know what to do with wheat. Yeah, I've got dankness now. All right. I like that. Put the maggots in there. Mmm. Tasty. The dude is Kenneth Copeland. That's right. Ken. Ken is a scary name. Ken like the Barbie doll Ken. And Ken like my future grandfather-in-law. He's not a scary individual. His name just scares me. I don't know why. It just rubs me the wrong way. Or perhaps rubs me just the right way. I'm gonna make my way over. Who who sells seeds? Oh, the farmer sells seeds. I need to go to the farmer and buy myself some more beet seeds. So I can beat your ass. <laughs> it's great. Astro do doesn't like how many names you know in the stream, because your uncle's also named Ken. Oh dear. I like I think there's only one person that I know personally named Ken, and he happens to be my fiance's grandfather. He's a wonderful individual. He's very knowledgeable about how to save for retirement because he saved for retirement and now I think lives comfortably in retirement and um, wants to let the world know how he did it. Or not the world know, but at least his uh, granddaughter and granddaughter's lover. Slash fiance, slash life partner, probably, hopefully, crossing my fingers. Trade. I need beet seeds. Give me seeds, guy. Give me seeds. I only need one. I only need one to complete my collection. I suppose I could sell carrots to you, but I don't want to do that. Ugh. The only Ken you've liked is the doll. I get that. I suppose if you had to pick a Ken to like, might as well uh, pick the one that can't talk back. Except in the Disney movies. Um, I'm going to talk to my buddy... The Astrologer. What am I doing? Why am I walking? Walking is so old school. Go to the lighthouse. Teleport. Astrologer? Given the diary out on the diary. Very comfortably. Oh, here, here is her grandfather is very comfortable. Like, just wants his grandkids to be happy via retirement. Toy Story. Toy Story retirement? I want to retire and be a Ken doll for the rest of my existence. I don't know what that means. I don't exactly know what that means, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, I want ink. Oh, God, that's so expensive. And all you have is two, so I guess that's all I'm taking from you. All right. Technically, I can also buy pen and ink as well, because I think I can use that to make books. Yeah, that's all I have enough for. I'm spending all my money on it. Ah, oh, 
Toy Story, lots of plastic surgery, then you can be Ken too. If you really wanted to be, I, I would question why, but honestly, don't let me stop you from reaching towards your dreams. Reach towards your dreams. Don't let your dreams just be memes. Carrots. Mmm. And carrots. Mmm. Uh, not yet. I want to put literal shit- No! I did the wrong button again. It's okay, it happens. Anyway, I have not enough carrot seeds. Ah, I made boo-boo. I don't have enough carrot seeds. Ah, but I do have enough beet seeds. Ah, ah, I'm a very bad farmer. But at least I'm good at digging shit out of the ground. Yeah, all right. Grow some more of that stuff. It's moon day, everybody. Have you had your hero drink today? Still tastes like a banana. I like it. And tomorrow's Sunday. It's Lord's Day. And we'll have to pray. We'll have to pray and be merry. Or just be merry. Maybe we didn't have to... Uh, we, we, we're not praying. You're praying. I'm preaching. That's the way this game works. Anyway, I can now create... Pen and ink. From these these things here. These ink wells. So let's work, 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 work. Okay, show me how to work, 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 work. We, you know, we do be dirt, 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 dirt. dirt, dirt whatever. Anyway, now I got plenty of pen and ink. And hopefully I can make a bunch of stories from it. There's a certain, like, level, like, you have to use- Oh, I see. Depending on the quality of story you have, determines what success rate you have. I get it. I get it. I understand now. Let's craft that. I'm writing my stories. Did I get faith? Yes! I got three faith! Finally! The blue is with me. I must do this again. Oh my god, this will totally work. This is totally going to work. And let's use, let's, let's use all of them. All of them? Can I, can I only do one at a time? I can only do one at a time, it seems. That's fine. I'm gonna be up all night, making stories. Yes! More points! Oh my god, this is great. This is perfect. I can now create flyers for the Inquisitor. Or actually, hold on, before I jump into that, what's most important? What is most important? Let's consider that first. I know there are certain things that I should really be spending my money on first. Glass blowing is important. Ceramic firing. Why is that? That's not important. Not from what I can tell. What is this shit over here? Embalming liquids? Pfft, hot. I, I think, really, I should be getting stuff improved for the church. So I think business of faith and all that stuff. Anyway. <laughs> I totally just freaked out there for a moment. I am so sorry. Just kidding. I'm not sorry at all. You're welcome. This is the kind of... This is the kind of this is the kind of stuff you come here for, right? This validate me. Just kidding. It's okay. I'm gonna eat some berries. Mmm, berries. Can I eat crop waste? I definitely cannot. Let's try to make another story. Do I get points every single time I try to make a story, or is it like just a, a one and done type thing? Um gonna eat all these mushrooms. Mmm, tasty. Make more notes. I need all the blues. I'll have a blue christening without you. All right, well, I got 20 blues now. Can I spend that on all this stuff? Yes. 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 Okay, cool. And I could also do cremation. What does, this, what does that do? A place for burning corpses. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, what else should I plan to spend this stuff on? Uh, la 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 la. I don't exactly know what advances, what ad uh, advantages I gain from this stuff. Cremation sounds cool, but like, is it really cool? I can invent stories if I have more faith. Farming in nature. Gathering super mushrooms. All right, sweet. I like that. That sounds excellent. Insects. I can gather bees. But what do I use bees for? I don't yet know. Gardening. Ten needed to guarantee a successful... G oh, there's ceremonies. Ah. I feel like I next want to go towards this blacksmithing stuff. Or ceramic firing, I guess. I don't know. What? What's the point of making pots yet? I don't know yet. Anyway. 
That's on the list. It's on the menu. The menu. I'm gonna grab some faith from here and go conduct conduct a church ceremony. Actually, before I conduct the church ceremony, the better my church looks, the better it'll be. I'm gonna make more church benches and candelabras. I need nails and planks and all that j jazz. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. My church is gonna be like, mm, girl. That's gonna be my church. It's gonna be Gucci as fuck. I said the F word today. That means I'm gonna have to repent for it tomorrow. I'm gonna put some carrots in there so I can get more dead bodies. Actually, I have too many dead bodies. How many bodies do I have? Are they in a pile? Oh, that guy's not looking good. Ooh. I have two dead bodies? Oh, one's on the embalming table. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in there. Didn't mean for that to go unchecked for so long. Ooh. Stinky body. Stinky body. Gonna get myself some rest tonight and collect my nails. Simple iron parts, which I think I've sold all of. I have simple iron parts. Uh, metal scrap. I have nails. Do I have pieces of wood? Yeah, this is gonna require some effort in the morning. Uh, let's queue up like 16 simple iron parts. And... Uh, carpentry table, right? It's this thing. Wooden planks. Let's make six of them. Let's let's get some rest. I don't want to rest the whole day away. Yeah, only like halfway through the day. Just so I have enough to like build things. I can so actually, you know what? That that's good. That that's not bad. That's not bad. Saving in progress. It shouldn't take me that long to um collect all this stuff, right? Maybe, hopefully not. Work, 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 work. Pass the day away. Pass the day away, but do it fast so we can make sure that we have mass. Because what's a what's a Sunday without mass? A sad day? <laughs> Maybe. I'm not a practicing Catholic. I, I've had pretty good days by skipping mass, personally. Personally, I wind up doing other things. Things that I consider to be more important, but, like, if mass is your thing, then, ah, go for it. My fiance loves to go to mass. She feels very, very good by it. And if it makes you feel good, then there ain't nothing wrong with that. If the Lord makes you feel happy, that's good. If your God makes you feel happy, I think that's the right God for you. Or if you have multiple, hey, all right. I'm not totally opposed to polytheism. There's a God in all of us. Oh, a church bench is six entire planks of wood. That's incredible. I feel like it's easier for me to make some candelabras, right? Candelabra? Candelabra. Candelabra? 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 My church quality is at eight. I think the goal for the for the preacher was 20 at the church. Yeah, that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, It's worshiping time! I just spit all over my microphone. I'm so sorry, microphone. I'd like to say a few words this Sunday. Our church is great, and so are you. Except for you on the far right. In the front, don't like you. And now let us play for the pray for the blessing. I need four. I need two more. Two more faith. Two more fourth. Come right up. Oh, please, two more faith. It'd be really cool. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Nice. Yes! Give me your soul! Great sermon, great sermon. Wonderful, wonderful sermon. I like that. Mm -hmm. Great sermon, great sermon. Excellent. Now I have enough soul to talk- Now I have enough faith to talk to Snake, who lives in my basement. I'm gonna put my notes over there, my notes over there, put all the notes over there, put all my pen and- Oh! Did I not need this much pen and ink? Oh, shit! Nice. Bat wings? Bat wings stay down here. <laughs> nice. I did not realize that at all. Wow, that is a lot. I did not realize that one inkwell was going to last me that long. But, uh... Alright. I'm, I'm down with it if you're down with it, world. So I can talk to Snake in the basement. If I talk to Snake in the basement with the power of my faith, then, only then, will I be able to get the meat stamp to be able to sell meat at the market and get more capital. It's all about those capital gains. Snakey! Snakey-poo! 
S Snakey, where are you? Snake, where are you? Where could you have possibly gone? Can I only talk to him certain days? I can only talk to him on E... Uh, green Day. Okay, well, I guess I'll just save that till then. Um, I got this key in the trunk. I'm gonna throw some of my stuff upstairs. Well, it's probably good enough to sleep for the day. That was advantageous. I think we've accomplished a lot today. I like that. So I guess we'll go to sleep. Sleepy time. Sleepy time, sleepy time, sleepy time. Sleepy time, sleepy time, sleepy time. Sleepy time, good. Sleepy time, wonderful. I'm so refreshed. Who could I talk to on Downward Day? I could talk to Miss Charm and demonstrate that I'm worth talking to. But honestly, bigger fish to fry. I gotta talk to... I've gotta charm Snake. Oh my god, I charmed the snake. Snake Charmer. I am the Snake Charmer. Nice. Awesome. Okay, well, I don't want to talk to you today, so I guess it's a free day for me. <laughs> What can I- what else can I accomplish? Are there more things to accomplish? Of course there's more things to accomplish. There's always things to accomplish. I have six blue points. That's awesome. I could always- actually, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. Freedom. I should go back into my study and create more fantastical stories for more- for more points. It's all about those points. On the topic of points, did any of y'all go to like- was it a thing in any of y'all's, like, like, earlier years of school for, like, if somebody had, like, their hands like this, like, somebody else would go, like, points, 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 and get points by, like, going through literally any open, like, open orifice of your body that hopefully wasn't intrusive? Like, this, th this points thing couldn't have just been my school. I never understood that. I don't know what kind of points you need. Crafty, crafty, craft. Who needs points when I have literally anything else? Making some... T oh, okay, I have notes. Oh, and apparently... Okay, so I take my notes and I compile them into chapters. Interesting. Is that how that works? Okay, so I've got more notes. Chapters? Oh, I can make flyers now. That's good. I'm gonna make two of those flyers, or I, I need ten flyers total. Ten flyers total. I can do that now. Awesome. Oh, I just ran out of energy. Uh, I'm gonna eat carrots. So I can continue. Nice! Now I have ten flyers. I can talk to an Inquisitor on update when that occurs. Um, and I also want to try to create a chapter, apparently. So I guess the higher... The higher quality I have, the better I get. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save those. I'm gonna save those. It takes 20 energy. I don't know exactly know how many en how much energy I have in a day. So let's make a chapter. Cool, I have a chapter now. And I just got a bunch of points for that. Yes! Chapter. And I guess that takes three each, right? Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna do that again. Oh, I'm out of energy. Time to go... Oh, I was gonna say time to go foraging in the woods, but can't go foraging in the woods if I have no energy. So I'm gonna go to my kitchen instead. Why am I walking around? I could just use the teleporter. What's in the box? Mushrooms. Yum. I can create raw sliced meat, right? Can I do that? Raw sliced meat? Raw sliced meat? Oh, I need to eat first. Ha 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 Nice. Work, 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 work. Mmm. Raw sliced meat. What can I make with raw sliced meat? No idea. Apples and berries make berry juice. Uh, I have... Oh, I have wheat. I could make flour. But not right now. Or could I cook the meat? I could probably... Should probably cook the meat. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll cook the meat. I'll get baked meat. Or perhaps I should save it for something even more tasty. Like... Or... Baked apples. Mmm. Baked apples. Mm. I love me some apples. 
kind of full in energy now. And what was I going to do with this energy? Oh, I want to talk to Snake. He's in the basement. He was, for some reason, not around in the middle of the night. But I guess that makes sense. He was probably resting, too. That's good. Snake gets himself some rest. Nope. Snake is not here. I... Very confused. I definitely saw a snake there a moment ago. Alas, not today. Wow, five baked apples? Well, damn, look at that. That's pretty good. Um, what can I spend uh, my blue on? I have 24 blue now, and I want to put it towards building. No, not building. Woodcutter? Oh, I can chop down big trees to get two logs. Exciting. Precious metals, that's good. But, like, smithing. Um... I can create steel ingots, conical flasks. Okay, but like, I only needed conical flasks for the ink. And apparently I have a shit ton of ink now. So instead, I'm going to spend it on stuff like, um, let's see, what do we get here? Prayer for shoots, effects, then guarantee a successful ceremony. I also get this gardening perk, it looks like, decay. I can gather maggots. I could already gather maggots, silly. I'm going to do Master Gatherer so I can gather more stuff from the ground. I like that. And I also like uh, the big tree filling. Uh, but I need 20 for that. And I'm at 14. So maybe a couple more chapters will be good. Uh, but I can pick up... Come on, give me that. Nope. I didn't want to do that. I wanted the mushroom. I can get more stuff from gathering now. That's great. Twice as much mushroom for the price of one. Yum. Now I've got all the mushroom I could possibly desire, and more. Now for the low price of free. Time to go write more masterpieces. What kind of masterpieces? I don't know. What's your masterpiece gonna be about? I don't know. <gasps> oh god, I just don't know. The possibilities are endless. And I think I can do... I cannot do one more. That is all. And I have just enough for the woodcuttering ability. I can now cut down big trees. Teddy Roosevelt once said, Speak softly and carry a big stick. My big stick is an entire tree. Which I can now fell. Oh, I can fell these trees now. Oh, that gave three wood. Oh, that's exciting. So much excitement. That's always good. I like chopping down trees. Chop down tree, give me wood. And with wood, Cameron is happy, happy boy. Like wood is in wood logs, not, not otherwise. You sickos. Yeah, this is like the other side of like uh, my um. Yeah, this is the other side of my graveyard, and for some reason I only have access to one side for now. Something about cultists or whatever. A likely story. Uh, I don't have enough energy there. I need to bring these woods back home. There's no convenient way to, like, move this wood around, is there? Unless I, like, pick one up and, like, I guess, throw things on top of each other. Like, is this just the way to do it? I, I don't... Nope, that that didn't... Work. Nope, stop. Okay, pick up wood, move. I pick things up, and I push them down. I push things across the map. Yes, kind of. Nope, that's not working. I pick it up and I put it down. I pick it up and I put it down. I, and then I pick other things up again. Not planned. I didn't want that. I just want to put all of this wood in its proper place. Wood has a proper place. What's your proper place for wood? I don't know. The proper place for my wood is in my wood pile, not my pants. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Anyway, if I push all wood this way, push all wood this way, then I will be able to do good, maybe? I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if this is gonna work. But we're trying it. I, I'm very... There must be a better way. There must be a better way, I say to myself. Realizing there is probably no better way. At least not accessible to me right now. But if I like... See, like, like the idea is to do this with all of them. See, look at it. 
Ah, oh, come on. Get in there. This wood will not thread a needle. Or maybe it will. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Astro's wood would be expensive. <laughs> Is it because it's mahogany? Rich, sweet mahogany? Because that's expensive wood. Oh my god, it worked. Whoa. Okay, that's the idea. That thing that I just did, that's the idea. That's the idea. I gotta get all the woods put up in a line like this and then just whoosh, just like that. Of, of course not afford the wood that you would be providing. I would never be able to afford the wood. I, I don't even know where to go about procuring wood of that quality. Quality wood deserves quality prices, you know? Okay, so now that I've got everything over here, I need to move it over. So, like, do I just, like... Dude, that's so much wood! That's so much wood that I gotta be transporting. God! How is anybody supposed to do this all day long? There must be a better way. Whatever. I'll collect the wood as I come to it, you know? Ah. Then builders, though, on the other hand, ooh, they could probably afford the wood. Probably. They've got, like... They could just expense it. Just put it on the boss's tab. Get the company card and drop some mahogany on that shit. Quality. Oh, I didn't sleep all the way. I wanted to sleep a little bit more. Excuse me while I catch three more Z's. Three more Z's it is then. What can I do on Claw Day? Claw Day? The merchant! Cabbages and beets. If I have the rest of my cabbages and beets, I can go sell them to La Mercado. Which may or may not be Spanish for the merchant. Cabbages? Cabbages! Alright! Yeah! I don't know cabbage seeds. Incredible. Beets? Alright! Yeah! Beet seeds. Sweet. Don't have enough beet seeds. Ah, it's fine. In the meantime, I'll like... I'll pick some mushrooms or something. Make myself feel... Good. Mushrooms make me feel good. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Be careful, you hear the Avatar is around these parts. Dude, if I ran into the Avatar, I'd be like, take all these beats. These beats are yours. I, I give to you these gracious beats. You can have them. You can have them, my friend. All the beats you want, whatever whatever beats you want, you can take them. These beats are you, you're my beats are you beats, my friend. Oh, he only wants cabbages? Very picky. What a very picky avatar we have. No beets, just cabbages. Well, I'll show you cabbages. You just watch. I got cabbages for you. I got cabbages for you right here. And by right here, I mean... I have cabbage. I, I do have cabbage. Oh, did I just put them all on the... They're not in my inventory, are they? I am both side-eyeing because I put the beets and cabbages in the chest instead of my inventory. No, why are you going home? No! You're going home! Okay, whatever. I'm also side-eyeing because of that Beats by Dre reference you made. That's the other reason for my side-eye. Good one. You can have that one. Oi. Oh well. Back to Sweet Home, I guess. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna rip out pieces of dead bodies. That's something I haven't done in a hot minute. I'm gonna completely eviscerate you. Give me your meat. Extract the flesh. Hell yeah! Give me... The brain. Extract the brain? Yeah, I'll extract the brain. Easy. Yum. Um... Do I want a heart? Take an heart. I'll extract the heart. Um, what else? I don't, I don't really know. 
You made a mess of the body, lowering its quality. I don't know why I want the sur surgeon's mistake. What do I do? I just take my knife and I just like... That's how I make the surgeon's mistake. Uh, skin is always good. I, I don't have a use for any of this other stuff yet, so this will this will be fine. I'll take this body and um, I'm gonna throw that into the ground. Bodies, bodies, take body, take body, put on table, extract meat. Yes. Mm. Where do all these bodies come from? Who knows? Anyway, your body looks terrible. Can I put? Oh, I I can put meat back into this body. If I take out a heart from this body, that's the thing. So I don't know how exchanging parts work. If I take out a heart from this body, can I add it back? I don't know which heart is which, though. Okay, now I'll put the heart back. That did not make the body any better. All right, time to go throw these bodies into the... I'm gonna throw some bodies in the lake and nobody can stop me. It doesn't weigh on my conscience, because I'm used to it. I do this all the time. Ah. Transplant. I mean, heart transplant time. Yeah, I'm gonna make your boy into a girl. Or rather, I'm going to make your anatomically male parts and exchange them with anatomically female parts. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna applaud you on your transition. I'd say the surgery was a success, but you were already dead, so... Honestly... Don't know where we stand now. On the bright side, I guess you don't have to... Get, get, or actually... Because, like, if you do a sex change on a dead body, they can no longer choose their pronouns. So what pronoun do you use to refer to a dead body? Well, I guess it's not a pronoun that we'd use... It's just some other indefinite article because a corpse, depending on who you talk to, is an inanimate object. So, um, is a corpse an it? Or would it still be respectful to say they at that point? These are questions that I do not have the answers to. Food for thought. Dead people. Corpses. Corpses. He, they, them, zize, za. It? I don't know. Hot takes, everyone. That's what we're all about. Hot takes. Hot takes. I have all this shit in my inventory now. I'm not sure what to do with it. Do I have a chest in here yet? I should really have a chest in here for spare parts. Okie dokie. Apparently can't put a chest in there. If I unlock this, which I can't yet. Hoity doity doy. The pronoun would probably be whatever it was originally. I would think so. I guess, yes. Because it was their choice previously, and if I did some unsolicited, um, lobotomy, lobotomy, unsolicited, unsolicited genitalotomies on you while you were dead, it wasn't your choice, so therefore, I shouldn't change your pronouns. It wouldn't be very, it wouldn't be very cash money of me to be doing that. Good point. Good point. I don't know where to put these body parts. I know where to put this meat, though. Meat. Meat in here. Yeah, and then I'll chop up that meat. Chop up that meat. Uh, oh, it's Green Day. I can go talk to the man downstairs. Or at least I think I can. So let's talk to the man downstairs. Oh, male would just still be male, just a little mutilated. Female would still be female, just also mutilated, which is unfortunate. Is that meat from the dead guy? Yeah, it is. Snake, where are you going? Snake, where are you going? I was really hoping to talk to you today. Yeah, that's meat from the dead guys. And I, as soon after I talk to this gentleman here, will have the ability to sell it on the market as royal certified meat. The king has stamped this meat as being okay, good, good. Oh, it's great. Astro's got a dip, but good luck. Well, thank you, sir. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening ahead. Snake, where are you going? Don't leave my basement. You're not allowed to leave my basement. Why don't you... Bro. Snake. Where did you go? Snake, where'd you go go? 
This is my day to talk to you. What you? Why can't I have any luck talking to Snake you? What the hell? Where'd you go, asshole? Ah! Okay, now I'm very confused. Not sure what to do about that. So I'm going to sleep on it. Is it already too late in the day? Did I, did I wait too long? How? I'm gonna pass the day along. It's not quite nighttime yet. Maybe he only comes out at night. Anyway, okay, maybe he does only come out at night. Let's go investigate. Investigate Snakeu. Snakeu, please, Snake, are you in my basement? Uh, Snake is not in my basement. Snake, you are... You are confusing me, my guy. What's your deal? I just want to talk to the snake. I just want to charm the snake. I just want to charm that snake. I'm going to charm him with my glowing, faithful face. Um, so, now that it's nighttime, did you come back here? Is this where you sleep at night? I'm confused. I'm genuinely confused. Oh, where, oh, where could my snake who have gone? Oh, where, oh, where could he be? I need his stamp so I can sell bad meat. <gasps> snake, I found you! R.I.P. He's back from the dead. I don't know where you do. What do you do on a day? Hey, hey, Snake, just out of curiosity, what do you usually do when you're not in my basement? Like, seriously, though, I gotta know. Like, you're kind of in my basement, like, half the time, so it's kind of a part of my business, so I'm actually very curious about that. I just want to make sure, like, your background check comes out very nicely, because I don't want to make I don't make sure, like, I don't have criminals in my basement or anything, or else I might have to do some, uh, um, like, uh, like maintenance on that, you know? Like, I'll, I'll kill you and add you to my pack of dead bodies. I don't know. I just want to make sure you're good. Are you good, Snake? Are you good? Have you prayed today? Have you gone to church on Sundays? I haven't been seeing you at my services. I'm just trying to look out for you, buddy. Anyway, convincing. I have nothing against you. Maybe I can even help you. Um, you appear useless, but also harmless. Help me open this gate. I have these instructions and apparently I need a key. My lockpicks won't work. Bring me the key. We'll talk. Make one or find it. I don't care. I'm going to find you the key. Okay, I need something behind this door too, so I'll try to help. You can take these instructions. Instructions for the key. Okie dokie. What's the instructions for the key do? You need this to use a you need to use a keeper's key with this instruction at a study table. Well, it's a good thing I have a I have a keeper's key around here somewhere. I do. I do, I do. Keeper's key? Keeper's key. Now I need to use it with a key. It with the instructions at the study table. The study table is over at the church. To the church, Yolando! I'm gonna show you all my faithful quarters. And I definitely don't mean my body. Those are not my faithful quarters. Those are my very unfaithful quarters. Spooky. For that, you can go check on my OnlyFans. Pick it out in a study. Key. Plus that. And two faith. Okie dokie. We're gonna have to wait until Lord's Day. That's fine. That's fine. Brain. Heart. Put him in the chest. I need faith. I need faith. Trust and pixie dust. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna get take this heck of grass and process it. Because I don't like it just sitting there. Yellow flower? Oh, yellow flower now? Oh. I don't know. I still don't know what all this yellow shit is supposed to be for. All this stuff here. I, I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Life solution. It's the solution of life. Cause, cause I need a solution. Life is the problem, and I need a solution. Let's do hiccup grass. Do do do. 
Um, take Anyway, I'm getting all this green stuff too. Maybe if I combine yellow and green together, I will obtain lime green. I know not. Apparently, I oh, I need to study it too. I need to study these solutions. Chaos solution, solution, solution. And then I want to put the key and the instructions in there. It's update today, so I can go visit my buddy the Inquisitor. So that's up on... He's over on Witch Hill. Witch Hill? <laughs> it's that one. We already got the joke. We don't have to... It bears repeating, though. It bears repeating. Such a funny joke. Such a funny pun. And I have a body in my morgue, so... While it's still fresh, let's see what this body's all about. What's up, body? Hey, body. Hey, body. How you do? Ooh. That's a very green body. So I, I can't remember why. How do I make it green again? Did I need to, like, do something with it? Uh, I think if I remove stuff from the body, it's bad. So I'm going to take this body. I'm going to take this body and I would like to do something with it. What would I like to do with this body? How are you doing? Your body's not so cool. I need, I'm on an exhumation permit. Get it. Got it. I want to take this guy out of the ground so I can put a different guy in the ground. Exhume! You need to remove the grave's fence and gravestone. Right. Work, workity work, work. That's so much work. Now I'm going to exhume this body. Do I want an exhume? Yep. Take it out of there. You're fine, but I'd rather you be in there. Into the corpses! Put the stuff back on there. Is that better than it was before? I don't know if this was considered an improvement or what. All right, it really wasn't much of an improvement. I, I don't know, gonna drop the body in the water. Don't know what else to do with that. Really, really don't know. Really don't know about that, to be perfectly honest. Um, but, but I got more wood. Wood is good. I like wood, and wood is good, and so we will log together. We, we will log together, so we will log together when we. So we will log together, cause we're lumberjacks. We're not really lumberjacks. We're gravekeepers. Let's not let's not fool ourselves. We know what we're here to do. We know what we're here to do. We're here to exhume bodies, enter bodies, remove parts of bodies from bodies. That's what we're here to do. And everybody knows it. Everybody knows. We're also here to push around logs of wood. So if anybody needs logs pushed around, I'm your guy. Or maybe I'm not your guy, but like, I'm one of many guys that you could have. Oh my god, I gotta get to the top of the witch hill before nighttime, or else I won't be able to give this guy flyers. I won't be able to tell this guy the glory of the Philadelphia Flyers, starring that that creepy gr orange monstrosity Gritty as the mascot. I very well may be running out of time. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh god, I really hope I can make it. Oh god, I really hope I make it. Ah, it's close. It's close. Oh god, it's close! I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be alright. Right, Inquisitor? Here are the flyers! Everybody will hear about inevitability of the true faith. Nice. Anyway, I was planning a burning for today. The witch became too weak and burning a dead one is too boring. Stay. Let's watch it together. Burn the witch! She was once a perfectly good individual. Meh, I've seen the show a bunch already. Oh, wait. Yeah, plus I'm getting hungry. Let's go! Everybody's leaving. See, people aren't interested in you burning humans alive. Uh, seems your burning isn't so popular. Five years ago, this place was packed. Whole families came to watch. Seems everybody just got tired of it. Only my holy anger keeps the Inquisition alive. Even our blessed Inquisition.
Inquisition guards haven't been able to find a new witch for a month. Maybe it's because of the water shortage, but I think it's just a lack of motivation. Speaking of motivation, do you know how to grow grapes? It seems I'm a man of many talents. Good. I have an important task for you, and this time you just can't say no. Besides, it will be very profitable for you. I'm listening, Monsignor. I'll grant you the rights to the eastern slope of which you to grow grapes. But I think the land there belongs to the village, not to the Inquisition. No, that vineyard has been my family for decades. I used to live there with my wife and son. And where are they now? They are dead, tired of the Great Blast. Witches. I hate them. Oh, I'm very sorry. This is no time for sentimentality. Grow some grape, make wine. Bring it to me. The guard. Put me more motivated. And we'll work with extra zeal. Believe me, when they're drunk, they find a new witch every day. And once we get enough of them, then we'll need to figure out how to make the burnings more entertaining. I have some thoughts I'd like to run by you. God, I feel really lightheaded from viewing doing that voice. My God. Anyway, I think I can be trusted. I'm not sure, but obviously you are more trusted than most of my guards. So here's your permission. If you see anything suspicious, tell me immediately. Sweet. I need to bring you ten wine. God, everybody else is just asking for one. But alas, that's what I gotta do. What I gotta do, what I gotta do, what I gotta do, 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 do. Barrel certificate, sell to the gamekeeper, and chapters, and I had something else. Who knows? I'm gonna make my way towards the town so I can sell this certificate of mine. To the dead horse. Uh, what would I have talked to you about, Wagner? Oh, you need wine. Of course you do. Can I talk to you? Nope. It's bad luck today. Fine. Trade. Burial certificate. I'm gonna sell that. Hmm. Good. It's up day. Oh, it's almost moon day. I still wasn't able to talk to Snake. I feel like Snake is actually in my basement. Like, maybe he... I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I just can't tell. What do I do? What am I supposed to do? Make progress, I guess. At least now, I can get the blue. I know how to make the blue now. That's good! I love being able to make the blue. Can I chop down this tree? Wow, that's a big-ass tree. That's like a heaping tree. Man, it's a lot of wood. I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't- I don't need it yet. Back to, uh, sweet home. Sweet home! The joke has been done before. Is Snake in my basement? Snake? Uh, maybe I have to check in the morning. Maybe Snake is only there in the mornings. And then it goes off and just does his things. And then comes back. I, I, just don't, I just don't know. What's in my bin over here? Oh, I have pieces of human in here? Nice. Time to sleepy. Time to sleep. And I'm gonna get myself a little snack. While I, my body is sleeping, I'm gonna grab a snack. I don't know what snack yet. Let's go in. Ooh, chips. I still have chips on the table. Chippies! I got a thing full of chips in here. This crunch is for you, everybody. Mm-hmm. They're only a little stale now. Snake? Nope. Snake. Oh, wait. I just remembered. I don't need to talk to Snake anymore. I already talked to Snake. Uh, what mission do I have for the Astrologer? I need to collect the diary, and I'm working on that. Hmm. <laughs> What I can do is I can improve my church. I've got all this time to make more wood stuffs. Like, um, I think I need wood bullets. I need flitches for wooden planks. So I need flitches. Let's make, like, 
I don't know. Let's make... Let's just make a shiz ton of benches. <laughs> chips are good it's something about it's most definitely something about the saltiness of the chip and it actually pairs with pretty well with the with the hero potion I'm not gonna lie there's a salty, there's a salty sweet going on there that I most definitely appreciate. I'm gonna eat all these baked apples, and I'm gonna eat some of this mushrooms. Oh, I take damage by eating mushrooms. Hilarious. <laughs> mushrooms are not good for my body, who knew? You know what's been on my mind? Um, earlier today... Actually, you know what? You know what's been really awesome? Previously... Or not previously. One of the things I really enjoy about streaming is the fact that I kind of just get to... I kind of get to talk to myself here. I get to talk to other people. That's a really great thing. But I get to get things off of my mind. I get to get things off of my chest. Not like I'm guilty or anything, but like I like to talk about some things in my mind. And I, I talked to my fiancé about it a bit. And I'm like, you know what would be really cool? It'd be really awesome if I just had, like, a place to go to, like, actively converse with people about, like, philosophy and just thoughts on life. Like, the shit that I'd be talking about anyway here, which I normally do. But, like, be able to have, like, somebody to kind of uh, bounce my thoughts off of. And, excuse me, I have found that at work. I'm really happy to say that I found that at work. My idea was that, like, speakeasies are a thing. I just need to find where the speakeasies are. Then I can go to the speakeasy, and I can speak easily, and if I speak easily at the speakeasy, then... Oh, yo. Oh, yo, what's up, Jerry? I'll get back to that in a second. Stay away from me, or I'll bite your ass off! You're with the Inquisition now, aren't you? No, I don't support the Inquisition, I'm just trying to get home. That's good to hear. Sounds like an honest answer. I don't like them either, but I bet, I bet if someone dug me up in a thousand years, there would be one group of people hurting another group of people, all for the common good. And there would be guys like you saying, I don't support, blah, blah, blah. You're probably right. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Is that really all you had to say? Anyway, new body. New body, new me. But like, just the ability to be able to talk to somebody about that stuff would be great. And like, go back and forth and say like, what's your thoughts on it? Oh, I've got my thoughts on it. Let's talk about it. Like, that's was always something I've always wanted to have. And at work, I found that. One of the people I work with, actually, is... A bit of a thinker himself. Quite the thinker, if I may say so. And it's awesome. And just today, we were having a philosophical conversation. Oh, I needed the wood. I also need... I need nails. I forgot I need nails. Um, but we were having a philosophical conversation. It was awesome. We got to look really deeply in things. One of the things that I pulled from that conversation was... Sometimes? Just gotta... You gotta question. Like, you, when you're thinking about something, ask yourself why you had that question. Ask yourself why you had that question, and then when you give your answer, ask yourself why to that, and keep going deeper and deeper and deeper into the why and the how, and then you'll find some, like, eventually, I mean, for at least for me, I came to a point where I couldn't even, I couldn't figure out what the answer was. Like, I had no idea what the answer was. I could not answer the questions that I was asking myself. And he's like, all right, that is something that, if you think about it a bit more, maybe you'll be able to, like, figure out, like, a key part of your personality that you never knew about. I'm like, that's really, really cool. Or like, um, what was the other thing? Just the whole, uh, we asked, uh, we, we was, I was asked if I meditate, and I meditate sometimes. I haven't meditated recently, but like, I'm a very, like, fast thinker. I'm a very fast talker. I speak what's on my mind, and things come out. Um, and I think that's a really good thing, but it has its time and its place. But like, I sometimes just need to, like, chill, slow down a bit. And I don't always get to do that. Because my mind is always working in overdrive every once in a while. And it's nice to just sit back, relax, and be in the moment a little bit. And I'm not talking like, oh, mindfulness. Like, I'm happy today 
therefore that's a good thing i'm talking like sit down don't focus on anything except your thoughts and just be like i am here it is just me i don't need to be productive i don't need to be thinking about anything else my mind is here and only here and that's okay i think that's a beautiful thing in addition i was recommended a book by him called thinking fast and slow and uh finally i finally caved i decided i will now use audible to be able to listen to audiobooks because i like to read books but i'll be honest i'm not much of the book reader if i if i set the mood for myself oh yeah i can read a book all right but i'm not very good at doing that consistently so I got the audiobook, and somebody else reads it for me, and then I can listen to it, because I realize I listen to a lot of music. I listen to it while I'm at work. I listen to it in the car rides. I listen to it on my bike rides to work in the morning. And I'm like, you know what? I could technically be reading books. Or rather, listening to somebody read books to me. And like... And so I decided to start listening to this audiobook called Thinking Fast and Slow, and it basically goes over, like, you've got, like, basically two parts of your brain going on. And one's the fast part, and one's the slow part. One's the one who thinks like like a scientist per se, or one who's always like thinking for patterns and stuff, and some's a little more intuitive. One's intuition, and one's like forethought. And one of the topics they brought up was like, the fact that like, you learn, like you see a baby, right? A baby can recognize like, oh, that's, that's a flower, because we talk about flowers, we point up the flowers, it's like, ah, oh, flower, and you're like, oh my god. That baby just got the fact that this is a flower because it's putting the patterns together in its brain and processing like image recognition. This must be a flower because I've learned that it's a flower. And some would say that that's like a like a learned thing, or I'm not sure if they said like that was the learned thing or that was like the intuitive thing. But like they were saying for professionals, like professionals, people who have experience, like a chess player who's been playing chess for tons and tons of years now or a see a doctor who can recognize like what your ailments are just by looking at you like stuff like that is almost like that it seems inhuman it seems superhuman at the time like to us like a baby speaking and identifying things seems so inhuman or like a doctor be able to, be able to determine like you got i don't know stage two cancer or something we're playing a morbid game we'll make it morbid it's like wow that's almost inhuman how did you do that or, um, or apparently there was one case where, like, a firefighter chief was like, yo, we need to get out of this building, uh, while the fire was happening, and after he and the rest of his crew evacuated, lo and behold, the floor caved in. Because of, uh, intuitively, his, his brain, like, unconsciously determined that the source of the fire was coming from below the firefighters, so... Naturally, if it's coming from below, the floor might cave and it could kill everybody if not properly accounted for. And like, supposedly, that's like that, un that's that intuition part of our brain, the unconscious part, the part that's like, yeah, no, 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 I recognize the signs and I'm going to think and act accordingly without my, I guess, my conscious brain being aware of it. And stuff like that, that's pretty cool. And I like that. And I definitely want to try to read, like, I've, I've been kind of getting more into philosophy. And I've made this known. I've said, like, I, I've said to the pe the person I'm talking to at work about this, like, hey, I really want to get more into philosophy. I just don't know where to go. And ooh, he's got no shortage of books to recommend. And that's great. It's awesome that I have, that I, I've got somebody to, uh, to kind of give those suggestions to. It's great. I love it. And so I'm thankful for that. Very, very thankful for that. I'm going to take my sorry ass to church, including, and I'm going to add some more pizzazz to the churchy area. Hello there. Hello there, buddy. Church quality is at 11. Bringing that shit up to 11. Hey, yo. Um, make some candelabras. Put those on the ground. Um, uh, are there space for more? There's space for more. I can have plenty of candles. Candles. Where can I place candelabras, actually? Wall candelabras go... Can I place that on the wall? I don't actually have a place to put that on the wall. What was up a day? Can I, can I not put that on the wall yet? Oh, oh, wait a minute. I see. Uh, maybe I was supposed to... Oh, uh, they're all worth the same. They all cost the same. Let's just put a bunch of candelabras around. Cool. Candelabra. 
Condola bra. Do I have... Oh... I had just too little. Anyway, my church quality is like, hey yo. It's awesome. I wonder when I'll be able to... I bet if I have more faith, I'll be able to upgrade that stuff. Faith, not faith. I'm sorry. Uh, more blue points. Blue points are good points. Let's throw more of these stories in the chest. Chapters in the chest. Did I have any body parts? No body parts deposit. Go upstairs. Get the sermon of a lifetime. Or just the sermon of a Sunday. Let's do it. Let's preach. All right, okay, all right. We got five of those. Five is good. Five I think is a good, whoa, okay. Just readjusted my chair and uh, did bad. I'm trying to, trying to lower my chair down. There we go. I just wanted to lower my chair down a little bit. There we go, got that. Sorry, I didn't mean to get like, hey everybody, how's it going? Look at my shining forehead. I don't know why I have such a bombastic forehead. Couldn't tell you. Oh, Western Scroll. Used to open the western side of the graveyard. Oh! 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 I can do that now. So I can... I can use? No, can I... Uh... Oh, wait, maybe I need to click on this? Unlock area! Hell yeah! Now I can use the western half of the graveyard. Honestly, I should dig more graves. That's the thing. I should be digging more graves. I need to dig more graves. Oh, I gotta dig more graves. I'm gonna go grave crazy. I'm gonna make this place look beautiful. Eat these berries. I'm gonna eat these berries, I'm gonna eat these mushrooms. Make myself feel good. Make myself feel good inside. What makes you feel good inside? Helping others out, that makes me feel good inside. Knowing that I'm making a positive change in the world, makes me feel good inside. So it's getting a little hot in my apartment right now, and I very well could, like, Turn down the heat or turn down the air a little bit, but I've already turned it down quite a bit. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm actually wearing two shirts today. I'm not just wearing one like I usually would. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little costume change. I'm going to reveal the white shirt beneath. Ta-da! I'm wearing a second shirt. Now my complete, my entire style has changed. Now, now it's the overshirt with it's the overshirt. As opposed to just the shirt with the buttons. And I think... I think I look pretty gangster right now. Not gangster. Mobster? Mobster. Maybe mobster. One of those guys that you'd expect to like... You know, you roll up to the club with the bling. You got your... Got your gold chain. Slick back hair. And we're like, hey. Where are the drugs I ordered? That's how I imagine that interaction would go. I imagine me personally, I would not survive. But... You know. Anyway, I got all this wood now. Tons more wood. Tons more wood to find. Tons more woods. I should make a bunch of grave sites. And take all this wood out of here. Oh my god, wait, I can... What is this? My shovel is broken. I need to fix it to continue using it. I need a shovel? What am I... What is that over there? What even is that? Can I break apart the fence? Or am I fixing the fence? Interesting. Don't I have a better shovel? I can totally make a better shovel. Why am I even bothering with this shitty shovel? 
Why would I why would I even bother? Oh, I already had the Oh. Did I already have a shovel one? Oh, shovel one, shovel one. Oh, okay. Well, so be it then. Alrighty then. I did not realize that. Anyway, it's downward day. So I'm going to use my faithful energy to go charm Miss Charm. Feels like a good idea. Feels like a very good idea. I don't know if she's betrothed to anybody, but... I, as the preacher man, have not yet stated that adultery is wrong. But before I do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna primp myself. I'm gonna primp myself by digging some grave holes. Everybody knows Everybody knows that chicks dig a guy who digs. And, um, I am that guy who digs. Oh, is there just a... Oh, there was just a little... There was just a little hose back there. Okay. I legitimately thought there was something to gain there. Wood, go down. Oh, God. So much wood. And I can't move it all at once. Must be heavy or something. Who knew? Wood is heavy. Anyway, I'm gonna throw that on the ground. I still got plenty of wood that I need to move. Let's mark some grave sites. I wanna mark grave... Down here. I'd like to offset these graves if possible. Uh, let's just make it clear. I don't need that many graves right now. Not, not that many. Let's do... Uh, Una... I just do another one. Got plenty of graves. I'll dig them all up eventually. And I'll put bodies in every single one of them. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful graveyard. The most beautiful of graveyards. You're never gonna see a better graveyard than this one, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, nobody's gonna... People are gonna say, I got the best graveyard there is. And you're gonna be like, nope. I know a better one. That's Cameron's graveyard. His graveyard is top-notch. Let me tell you. Top-notch graveyard energy there. Mm. Totally. Totally top-notch graveyard. You can't get more top notch than this graveyard. Take a look. Consider for a moment how low notch your graveyard is. Do you have this many graves? I don't think you do. You got a family graveyard? You got your parents buried in there? Got your friends buried in there? Yeah. Low quality. Low quality. Don't got too many. Didn't have enough friends. Didn't have enough family. You don't even know. Quality graveyard. And when I have all the energy... Actually, I do have all the energy. Oh, so that's currently... My quality is really far down because I have all these graves. So I need to fill all these graves. It's easy. I just... I undo all these graves. I tank the quality of my graveyard. And then I just put bodies in them. Over time, the quality is going to get so much gooder. Actually, you know, maybe I don't want to do that. No, stop. Stop. I, I, I changed my mind. My graveyard quality sucks. Needs more bodies. Maybe that wasn't the right decision to make. Maybe. I do have a body over here, though. I just put bodies in the ground. I just put... I, I, I'm a guy who puts bodies in... Oh, your body doesn't look that cool, actually. Mm. Hmm. I don't like your body. Don't like it. But I'm gonna put it in the ground. Whatever. Body in the ground. Minus one. Put it back. Minus three. Because... Oh, that's the little... I don't know. Bodies in the ground. I I'll figure that out eventually. I'm not, not super good at that. Not today, at least. I'm gonna go talk to a lady. I'm gonna go talk to a lady. Oh, that was the wrong... Pl mm. was the wrong one. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go talk to the farmer. Buy more seeds. Because apparently, I don't have enough seeds for my own good. Needs more seed. Because, like, eventually you come to a point where you create enough seed to be able to make more. But, like, I'm kind of negative there.
Farmer. Let's get ten of each of these. And like... A couple beet seeds. Yeah, that's perfect. I literally have no money now. Perfect. Now I can go to the dead horse. And talk to my sweet! I'll see you again! Be confident! Let's see how it works. I think you owe me an apology. I'm not a small man. I'm a respected graveyard keeper. But I'm also a big fan. So you could just call me Keeper. Oh, maybe there's something to you after all. The contrast between your dirty job and you manner. You manner. You manner a lot. Do you know how much you manner? Uh, nice to meet you, Keeper. My name. You must compliment me, not only on my talent, but also on my beauty. I'd like to hear something nice, so go ahead. Say something nice to me, big boy. I have some questions, actually. Um, tell me about Snake. I met Snake in the church cellar, but he's not very talkative. Maybe you can help me make a deal with him. I can't imagine what normal business someone could have with that sneaky bastard. Oh, by the way, uh, if you see him, please throw this fake coin into his face and then come back here and tell me how he reacted. No more questions, Your Honor. Um. Okay. Alright, beg luck. Whatever. Alrighty then. Well. That is a thing now. I'm gonna throw coins at Snake's face. Was there anybody else I could talk to on Downward Day? Miss Charm. That's it. Tomorrow is Claw Day. When Claw Day come, I talk to the merchant. Mercado. I don't know if that's the word. Anyway, going back home now. Going back home now. Gonna collect my cabbages and beets to prepare myself yeah. for the dew in the morning. I'm gonna plant me some cabbages. Cabbages. Plant some cabbages. Cabbages. Gonna plant some uh, carrots. Carrots. Gonna plant some more carrot. Carrot. Nope, I planted beets. That's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's good. I'm gonna put another empty garden bed right here. Let's just put a couple of them here. Eh, why not? Workity workity work work. I'm gonna put fertilizer. 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 Carrot. And then the rest of this stuff in here. The rest of my. Cabbage seeds and carrot seeds. I have two carrot seeds that I uh, two cabbage seeds that I can also plant. Put the hemp away. Put the carrots away. Take the cabbage with me. Take the beets with me. La da 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 da. And if I put that together, I can plant some more plants. Composting. Composting. Posting of the comp. Hmm. Delicious. I had what? Interesting. Okie dokie. It is now the end of the day. I'm going to use the rest of my energy to... I don't know what I'm going to do. How many carrots do I have? Do I have more than 10 carrots? I only have 8. Alright. Can't do anything with that. I'm going to... Chop wood, I guess. I have wood. Might as well chop it. Make some wood markers. So I'll make some flitches. Flitchy, flitchy, flitchy. Mmm. Alright. Put those in my bin. I still have all this pottery. Don't know what to do with this pottery. Put that in the thing, too. Wooden planks. Don't need that. Oh, I have more wheat. I didn't realize that. I can make flour from wheat. Let's make, let's make flour from that. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder what I can do with flour. Also, I love how making flour has a crunching sound. Question mark, question mark, question mark. But whatever. Whatever. What can I do with the flour now? I can create D. If I had eggs and milk, I would make pastry D. But I can make D. Make D. I'll make D. 
You've got to make do with what you got. And with all this do, I can make bread, I guess? I just noticed I don't know how to make bread. <laughs> how do I learn how to make bread? Who do I who do I learn how to make bread from? God. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I got all that dough and I, I can't make bread with it? <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god. I can work my way up to wine though. Getting there. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna go to sleep for the night. I'm up all night making dough, but I don't have Google, so I don't know how to make bread. I've got this wet substance called dough. I don't know what to do with it. I like, I don't know how to develop the gluten, I guess. I'm gonna go into town. Talk to the merchant man. <laughs> Talk to the merchant man. How's up going? Here's some cabbage. Nah, yeah, good job. Nah, yeah, good job. Task completado. Story. But to be honest, these vegetables are terrible. I can only sell them to the poor townsfolk. They don't eat anything. Especially after two bad harvests in a row. Bad harvest? I don't see any sign of bad harvest. Seems like everything is growing great. This place is truly scared, but in a town, in its suckers, there's a water shortage. The Vimur River has gone down. Only the jaw, which runs past the graveyard, still brings some water to Vimur. Even the town's bay is receded, so the ship of the dead can't leave. I'd like to ask you about future sales. Is it possible to sell future harvests? You seem like a reasonable guy I could trust. Sure. I had a dream, and I'm happy, and I, and I happy to know you're on my side. It's time you and I to achieve the disasters we deserve. I mean, what we really, really deserve. And in that end, I must become the keeper of the king's kitchen and first tester, of course. This will grant me incredible power. Plus, I'll get to try all that delicious food, which only the king could afford. And what's all this have to do with me? Money! <laughs> we make a killing! Then I'm in. To achieve my goal, we need to win the battle on two fronts. First, we need to corner the high-end food market in the town. Second, we need to bribe the members of the Royal Council. We can't corner the market with these vegetables. But I see potential. With the help of some good fertilizer and the proper selection of crops, I believe we might grow something special. But first, you need to get a trade license through the Royal Service Box near your church. Get one. I'll be glad to have you as my partner. All right, I am going to leave, go back to my sweet, sweet home, and hopefully procure enough capital to buy that merchant's license. I wonder how much that costs. It's going to cost way too much, I know it. I know it. I know it's going to cost way too much. Uh, citizen? Building permission? Um, rightful citizen, rightful citizen, papers, and, oh, wait a minute, I just noticed, I can do this, citizen, royal stamp, oh, I can buy the royal stamp for 50, or I can get it from snake, building permission, for 20 gold, okay, um, rightful citizen, rightful citizen, buy for three, what? oh, it just gives me more happy, town pass trade license is 65, okay, I need more gold, so, I need to sell things. Or rather, what I should be doing is I should upgrade my my graveyard. So, I'm going to take this wood back to my home. Take this wood back to my homestead. Wood, 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 wood. Wood, 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 wood. I needed the flitches in order to create wooden grave markers. And what do I need to create? Wooden gates? 
Wooden grave fences are those ones. Uh, so I'm just gonna... Oh, wooden crosses are better. Wooden crosses are better. So we're gonna go with wooden crosses instead. I'm gonna make six of those. And then six the other one, honestly. That way I'll have six of each. I didn't want a bucket of... What? No, I wanted... I wanted to work! I wanted to be a real carpenter. Like my father before me. Got a lot of goes. And great fences. Those also take up their own inventory spot. That's annoying. Oh, don't got enough energy. I'm tired. Time to eat. Can I eat dough? Can I eat raw dough? I cannot eat raw dough, unfortunate. Time to eat all this stuff. Hmm. That should be enough energy for the rest of these. There we go. Now I can take it... Take it to my farm. Take it to the graveyard! So I realize now that body that I put in the ground is probably not the best body. Oh well. Now I got a fence. It'll be neutral. There'll be a body in the ground. Gravestone. There'll at least be a body in the ground. That's, that's fine and dandy. I need better ones. Gotta get better bodies. Are these... Oh, your body's not fun. Oh, it gives plus one. I, I, I remember now. I, I see how that... The amount of redness you have... Determines, like, whether you get the points or you get the minus points. It's it's a little... I'm still a little confused on it, to be perfectly honest, but... Eh. Oh, this is a good grave. Get this marker out of there. That deserved a wooden cross. There we go. Mwah, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful! It's true! Put all this in the thing. Uh, I have all these wooden repair kits. Did anything need repair? I don't think anything in particular needed repair. Um, can I put... I have to put the bodies in here first. Alright, I just gotta wait for bodies. Or not wait for bodies, I need to... Get carrots, so I can pay the donkey for bodies. Because that's how that's how that's how workership works. You have to pay your workers. Otherwise, it's just an internship. And internships, when unpaid, are stupid. I've never worked an unpaid internship, and I personally believe that unpaid internships are a scam. But I mean, if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Like my fiance's doing her clinical; she's not getting paid for that. If you gotta do it, you gotta do it. If she don't do it. She don't get a degree, so I get it. And tomorrow will be Green Day when I can talk to Snake about I don't know anything really. <laughs> I am now refreshed. All right, Snake, you down here, buddy? I'm gonna throw coins at your face. Uh, Mr. Charm sent you this? Ah, she tell you it was a joke? She used to be so sweet and naive. So are you her new lover or what? I I just met her. And already at her back and call. Typical. Is that it? That that's it. All right, I'm gonna talk to her now. Nope, definitely click the wrong button again. I'm gonna put the dough in here. I don't need this dough. What is this? Burial certificate. Can we sell the innkeeper? Classic. Classic. Put my wooden dowels outside. I don't know why I have this water, but that's fine. Oh, I want to keep that story with me. We're in a different location. Still cannot teleport day yet, but perhaps I can grab some carrots. Carrots are grown? Carrots are grown! All right. Sweet. Got to grow some more carrots. That's always good. Put that back in there. Oh, and... Let's go give some carrots to the... To our local donkey. So I can get a better body. I want a better body. 
What do I get to do with those better bodies? I get to make my graveyard look beautiful! Oh, I can harvest my hemp too. Oh yeah! Still don't know how to make rope from hemp yet. But I got all this hemp. What do I do with it? Deposit seven in there. That should be good. Boom. 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 So I'll drop those off to the donkey dude. And then, uh... Well, it's green day. Uh, I should talk to Miss Charm about the reaction that we got from our buddy. Dead horse. Miss Charm! Where are you? Are you here? Oh, you're actually not here at all. Okay, so I gotta talk to you later this week. Um, you wanted wine. Are you guys warriors? Why is there a sword here? What's up with that? Sir? Bad luck. No good. Gotcha. Sell the burial certificate. Classy. What else can I sell to peoples? <laughs> I'm unsure. I'm unsure what else this, what else I can sell. It's not like I know what I can sell to somebody before I get there. So it's like, eh, I don't, I don't know. I just know I can sell, I can sell metal bits to the, the blacksmith. That's pretty dope. I know I can do that. But other than that, like, I really got nothing. You know what I could do? Actually, uh, I can do more faith-based stuff. I can get more faith. I can keep the faith. Because I got more stories. Stories make notes, and notes make chapters. And that's good. So I'll do that. I'll take it downstairs and make some more stuff. I'll create some beautiful, beautiful stories so that everybody will like me. Does everybody like me now? How do you like me now, world? How do you like me now, mom? Hi, mom. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Love it. Uh, I need notes. Craft those notes. Crafty, crafty, crafty. All right. I love you too, mom. This is how much I love you. Where's my, where's my thing? I love that. That's how much I love you. Uh, I need better stories. So let's make better stories. It's all about trying to weave whimsical tales. So I've almost used up. Oh, I got a new body. I'm gonna eat this mushrooms. Mmm, tasty. Now I've got those notes. I've got these notes for chapters. Do I have any good? Nah, I don't have any. I don't have any, like, really, really good... I don't have enough good notes yet, so I'm just gonna go with the regular ones. So that's what I'll go with. And I'll craft some chapters from that. And that gives me how many? Faith? That gave me five faith. That's good. Um, I can also craft flyers. I don't know what to do with these... Flyers, though. But, like, they're an easy way... Like... They're an easy way to get faith, I guess. So might as well... What can I use these flyers for? I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I legitimately don't know what to use these flyers for. I don't know. Oh my god. Uh, I got more berries, right? Yeah, I got berries. Literally don't know. I feel like I should just destroy them. Very classy. But in the meantime, I'm just going to put them in here. There we go. Got those up. That's good. I still need faith in order to combine that key stuff together. So that still needs to be accomplished. I'm going to grab some more of this wood. Clear it out of my graveyard. Don't need that shit here. 
Get on out of here. Get on out of here, Wood. You're making... You're taking up space. There's not enough space for dead bodies anymore. So get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Wood. Come with me. Come with me, and we'll see... A world of pure conflagration. Because the world's on fire, and you're a piece of wood, and you are flammable. That's the joke. Flammability, my friends. Don't leave your kitchen stove on when you're not away. You never know what might spark conversation between your kitchen appliances. Oh, I don't have enough space for more wood, so I'm just going to leave that right there. Time to go to sleep. It's up day today. What's up day? What's up day? What can I accomplish on up day again? I can talk to the Inquisitor, right? Uh, make 10 Silver Star Wine for the Guard. Yeah, I don't have anything else to talk to you about because I don't have that, so. Whatever! I can research things now. What did I want to research next? You know how to work with meat. You have less chance of making a surgical error when extracting hard spares and soft spares. What is a hard spare and a soft spare? I have no idea what that is. Um, price of faith. I could get more monies. That's cool. I can create a crematorium uh, or stone columbarium. Stone gravestones. I want to. I want to. Uh, to have. Because that will be better. What else? That's good for the graveyard. Honestly, I should I should focus on the graveyard. Um, because that would be advantageous. What else is there? Precious metals I also want to do. And I think I have enough for both. So I'm gonna do precious metals. And I also want to do stone gravestones. Because I have plenty of stones. Might as well make some gravestones out of them. That'll increase that'll surely increase the quality of my my thing. How do I make stone gravestones? I can make them at a stone cutter. Stone cutter two. Do I have a stone cutter one? Do I? Stone cutter two? Stone cutter. Let's put down a stone cutter. I don't have space for a stone cutter. I don't have space for a stone cutter. Maybe if I go up to... Oh, where's my teleport waystone? Did I break it? Whoa, wait a minute. Where did I put my... Oh. Did I use it all up? I didn't mean to. Certainly did not mean to do that. Well, I'm by my... I'm by my place. Let's see about this body. Body, how you doing? Autopsy. Oh, you're looking pretty good. Looking pretty, pretty good. But I can't get the good out of you right now because I don't have good enough grave markers so hmm. oh well I don't know what happened to my teleport stone maybe it broke it's very possible that it broke some of the things in this game actually have like uh, uh, durability associated with it and maybe that one did and I just I just I just didn't know you don't know I don't know. Is it in the box? No, it's not in the box. It's missing. I guess it broke. Oh, no. Yes, it is. It's literally right there. <laughs> Great. Let's go to the quarry. I'm going to build my stone cutter here. Can I? Stone cutter? I don't have any flitches. I... Ah, the flitches are all back. Stone stockpile, iron ore stockpile. I can build those with more flitches. Flitches and trunks and... Simple iron parts and flitches. I'm gonna grab that. Simple iron parts and flitches. After I head back down. Tweet, 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 tweety birds. Ah, uh, the birds are lovely this time of the day. Wouldn't you say so? It's the forest near the river. You can tell it's a forest near the river because there's a bunch of trees near a flowing body of water. That's how you can tell. That's all I can tell, at least. Making my way back home. Trying to get stuff that is good. Probably. 
I need flitches and nails. Or I needed flitches and... Uh, flitches and simple iron parts. That's what I needed. Flitches and simple iron parts. Don't forget. Don't forget. Flitches and... <laughs> Ugh, my head. Flitches and simple iron parts. My head, my head, my man. My head. Ooh, what time is it? It's like 10 o'clock. I've been going at this for two hours now. Eh. God, I used to be so more energetic at this time, but I'm so tired now. Ugh, give me the flitches. Give me the flitches. And the simple iron parts. I feel like I need more simple iron parts, so I'm gonna make more simple iron parts. More simple iron parts. And then I'll put together stuff up there. I'll have an iron deposit, and I will, or I'll have an iron stockpile, and I'll also have a stone stockpile. Teleport back to the quarry. Here. Let's put the stone cutter. Uh, I'm gonna chop down this tree first. Because it's taking up space. Oh, I gotta take that thing out of the ground, too. Oh, classy. Get out of your wood. Uh, let's put the iron ore stockpile here. And then we'll do the stone cutter. Down here, I guess. That seems like the right place for it. Oh, I already had an iron ore stockpile. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. Craft. Alright, if I had stone, which I don't, I could craft stuff here. Oh, a body! Sweet home. Sweet! Home! Damn a jamma. Well, now that I've got a body down there, I can go check out that body. Mmm. Oh, it's a fresh one. See, that's also got three to it. Doesn't help me. I'm almost ready to teleport back to the quarry. Oh, so close. There we go. Back to the quarry. Quarry to do more stone cutting. Because I want to grab some... I can make stone repair kits now, actually. If I had that stone. Clay. Oh, I need clay. How do I make clay? Do I know how to make clay yet? Is that a technology that I know of? I feel like I would need pottery. Oh, but I already have pottery, right? I know how to make clay. Right? Don't I? Yeah, I know how to make clay. I get clay from the dirt. Oh, I get clay from the ground. I get clay from the ground. That's great. And then I can make stone repair kits. I do actually want a couple of stone repair kits. Um, has my teleport waystone already? Uh, I gotta find clay. Clay would probably be by the water, I would assume. You got clay? No? No clay? No clay down there. Sorry, y'all. Sweet home. Did I have clay over here? I got like 10 clay. That was perfect. Now I'm gonna go back. And... You know what? I'll walk back. And I'll grab some... Uh, I'll grab some goodies along the way. Some goody goody gumdrops. Like mushrooms and stuff. Things that I can consume. Things that I can eat. Oh god! I didn't realize there were enemies up here at night. Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god. I was totally not expecting that. Oh my god. Well, I don't know what else to do with bat wings right now. I don't need that much paper anymore, so I'm just gonna choose to ignore you. That is a big ass tree. Big tree sawmill? I can cut down the big tree? That feels disrespectful to nature. But apparently I can, and if I can... Isn't that reason enough to to go for it? Beeswax and honey and beeswax and honey. Beeswax and honey and beeswax and honey. What's over here? This looks like a wasteland. What's over here? Oh, it's so barren and decrepit. I don't like that. Oh, but bees. 
like bees. I can teleport to the quarry now. I definitely can. Oh, actually, I can sleep up here. Can I? I totally can. That's great. I forgot I could sleep up there. Very nice. I'm so refreshed. You're damn right you are. Um, I'm going to put a trunk down here, too, so I can actually, like, store stuff. Right here. There we go. Let's make like four stone repair kits. Why, why not? Why not? Never know when you might might need that many, you know? And then I'll make Um, I guess I'll work on the gravestones first. Oh, actually they both add two, so I'm gonna work on let's let's make six of them i don't i don't know let's make six of them six feels like a fine number it takes a lot of energy or i'll queue up i'll queue up for six but i'll only take two and then i'll head back down to the graveyard so that i can swap out some of the badness with the goodness What needs repair? You need repair. Nice. Excellent. Uh, you need... You definitely need repair. I'm out of energy? Oh, I'm almost out of energy. We'll fix this one, too. Is this one new? Is that... No, that's, that's, that's good. I don't need to fix that one. But then I'll remove... I have two of these guys. So you are at... You have the potential for more. So I want to remove this grave fence. You also... You don't have a lot of potential. But you're currently a net negative right now. I don't like that. Does this actually give... So that one doesn't give any because there's not enough skulls for it. I see. This guy's great. Um... I'm gonna put... I'll remove this guy, too. Actually, what do I have to gain? Which ones do I have to gain? Those... That, there's no point in that body being there. I see this now. This makes sense now. Um... Where are my negatives at? None of these guys are negatives, but I could get some positives? Oh, if I replace this guy. That'll be good, too. That'll be very good. I'll take the wood back while I'm down here. Grab some more food along the way. Moon day, everybody. Moon day. I want to see what kind of food I can make now. Anything at all? I can cook the meat. You know, I can cook the meat. I have the meat. I should cook. Oh, I have bread. Oh my god, look at that. I can make bread. Holy cradoodles. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I don't have any fire. Uh, I guess I'll... I have a ton of sticks outside, so... I don't need 69 sticks, all I need are 30. Silly. There we go. Burn all that for firewood. Not sure why I have that many sticks. But I can make bread now. Awesome. That's cooking away. That's excellent, actually. There we go. Put that in there. So I can make I can use the dough for bread. That's great. And I bet I can make. Oh, if I have that, that, and onions. Steady hand reduces any chance of making a surgical error. A surgical error? Oh, I need steady hand. If I don't have a steady hand, I can't make a burger. And I can add better types of onion. Oh, I see. The better ingredients you use, the better chance of getting a good meal. That makes total sense. I don't have any onions, though. I don't think I've procured any onions yet. What else could I possibly make? This type of sandwich requires cabbages and baked meat. That's not bad. Ah, I can make six sandwiches from that. Oh shit! I'm going to I'm going after my cabbages. Oh heck yeah! I'm gonna use my cabbages for sandwiches. 
Oh, heck yeah, my friend. Heck yeah, my friend. Yeah. Gardening. Oh, not enough. That's fine. Cabbage seed. Cabbage seed. Now you're good. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I need a little more energy to be able to... I'm going to eat... Can I eat honey? I can't eat honey, but I'm going to eat a couple cabbage. Just enough for me to get berries off of this bush. To use the berries to fuel me. Except for three of those berries, because the berries I'm going to bring back inside. And create some juice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, I got ten carrots from that. Nice. Got some... I did not want to do that. Got some beets. Put some compost down. Plenty of compost to go down. Planting and planting and planting. And I got some hemp, too. All right. Dank, bro. I don't have enough space in my inventory. So some carrot seeds in there. Do I have enough hemp seed? I don't know yet. Uh, carrot seed. Uh, do I have beet seeds? Carrot seeds. Uh, do I have enough hemp seed? I have enough hemp seed now. I can throw the hemp away. Not throw the hemp away. Um, very much keep the hemp nearby. Plenty of... Uh, I'll take one carrot, please. So I can stock up over there. <laughs> got carrots, I got beets. Uh, I don't know what else to use beets for. Beets actually give me energy on their own. I'll keep those around. The cabbage, I'm going to keep inside. Because that... Oh, that's a big heap and load of energy. <gasps> Yo! It's Sunday! It's Lord's Day! I can pray today! That's great. Praying is good. How many bodies I got in there? I got two. I'm ready for more. Oh, I can only do ten carrots at a time? So be it. So be it then. I have a little extra energy. I'll use that to remove these things. And then place uh, that one. Remove this and place. Um, I wonder, I wonder if I can sell these, these fences here. I don't know if I can or cannot. Anyway, back to sweet home. I'm gonna make me some juice, berry juice, with a little bit of energy I've got left. Ah. Sleepy time. Perfect. Oh, things are really moving in this game now. Now that we've kind of gotten past the point of struggling for certain resources, it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad at all. Can I make any sandwiches now? What am I missing for sandwich? Oh, I just need cooked meat. Oh, that's what I'm missing. I'm missing cooked meat. That's what I gotta queue up next. Queuing up next are some good, good meats. Quality meats. Well, I mean, they're not quality meats. Not from what I can tell, but... It's meat, nonetheless. I think today will be... Today we'll be improving the graveyard and conducting church sermons, or rather just one sermon. It's only one. Church is looking good. Graveyard is looking good. Graveyard really ain't looking good yet. What can I trade you for? What do you What do you sell? Oh, candles and stuff and wafer cookies, communion cookies. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> well, let's go grab what I gotta grab downstairs. My little sermon. And if I get at least three faith, then I can conduct the research to create the golden key. Begin with your prayers. And while we conduct the prayers, I need chips. All right, two nices. Oh, there it is. There's the three.
Oh, that is excellent. We got five today. Ah, oh, no money. It's because I've been doing the same sermon every single day, right? Sweet. All right, so now that I've got that, I can do this fancy thing with the key. Put the key, it's, oh, it's in the desk. <laughs> It's over here. The key and the stuff are in here, right? Key and instructions. Key in the item's code or pick up item. That's what I keep remembering. It's, that's like, I was at a shop right at Walmart that does that. All right, time to study. You've completed a study of Keeper's Key. The item can be decomposed into whatever. But I got the Keeper's Key and the Active Key and just got a whole shit ton of faith for that. What's-his-face is not over there. Oh, you know what I could spend this technology on? I just noticed, I can now get the circular saw, so I can make wooden beams at the circular saw. Oh, excellent. And then I can clear out the rest of this way over here. Oh, sweet. Oh, I wanted to put this... I gotta come back down anyway. Let's improve these while I'm at it. There we go. And there we go. Quality is four right now. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll rise right up. That'll rise right up. Excellent. That is so awesome. Okay. Take my... Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna take myself back up here. Excuse me. Excuse me. See about creating a circular saw. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to remove the stone stockpile. Because I can't use it down here. Build mode? What is this for? Yeah, I want to get rid of that. I don't need this stone stockpile. It's it's unnecessary. Oh, yeah. oh wow. I can get it all back. Or some of it back. That's pretty cool. Clear up my inventory a bit. Circular saw! I need eight planks. For that, for that I need some flitches, right? Eight, exactly. That'll make the circular saw. The circular saw can be used to create those uh, rectangular blocks. Two by fours or whatever. They're not two by fours. I don't know what you call them, but yeah. Cool. Now we'll place down a circular saw. Down here. Circular saw. We'll put that right over here. Seems about right. Nice. Awesome. I can finally make long rectangles now. Awesome. Uh, there are wooden beams, and I need those and... Oh, okay. Complex iron parts. Do I not have any complex iron parts? I guess I don't. So... Let's make some complex iron parts. Honestly, I want to make as many beams as possible, so I'm going to use all the complex iron parts that I can to do this. Uh, la la la. Not enough energy? I get that. I'm going to go inside. Collect my dew. Uh, queue up some baked meat to be created. Oh, I need some things for... I need more sticks. Uh, let's go with 30. Let's just do the same thing over again. Sticks are not the way to go, but you know, in a pinch, they're good. Perfection. Actually, I got, I got some stuff on me, right? Let's eat the rest of those. And then I'll, um, I'll use whatever energy I've got left on this before I head off to bed. Okie dokie, now I'm officially out of energy. Now it's Betty by time. But not before I put the bread in here. And the hunt. Uh, I got beeswax and honey in there too. I also have beer for some reason. Does that give me stuff? That gives me energy. And it gives me health too. Beer is good for you! I always knew. I always knew. Sleepy time.
<laughs> and uh, I finished all the, I finished all the cocktail from my from my tiny glasses, but uh, the uh, the concoction from my shaker is actually still cool. So I'm filling myself back up. It's mostly watered down now because the ice is melted, but. It'll help. If it works, it works. Cheers, lads. Yeah, it's watered down, but whatever. I also just got a bunch of liquid all over my keyboard, so I need to... Gotta wipe that up. That's gonna get sticky. Uh, maybe. This is not what they meant by sticky keys. I can put the grilled... Bake... Oh, baked meat. Did I need grilled meat? No, 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 this'll work. Yes! I can make a bunch of sandwiches! 24 sandwiches. How do you like me now? I'm the sandwich lord. I'm the lord of all sandwiches. Love that. Could really go for a sandwich now. God, now that I think about it. I'm gonna keep these sandwiches on me. Oh, can I talk to a snake down here? I need to go see a man about a key. Just give you this key. Nah, he ain't down here. It's downward day. I can talk to Miss Charm today. It's actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into town, talk to Miss Charm. Tell her all about what Snake did. Oh, it's you again. Tell me about Snake. Snake said that it was a joke. Tell him to give me back my money, real money this time. Or else. And if he can't find my mother's necklace, then the deal is off. What necklace is that? It was the only thing left of my mom. She told me to keep it. She told me that this necklace will make me happy and feel love. And I sold it to pay for a chance to sing before the king. Now I'll gl gladly buy it back, but I can't find it. Snake, everybody knows he can find anything in town, so I paid him and he took my money and now I have no money and no necklace either. You're a strong, intelligent man. I'm sure you can find a way to help a poor woman. All right, bring back the necklace from Sneku. Okie dokie then. That seems very sad. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm also not sorry. Okie dokie. Wooden beams. Got plenty of wood. Make a shit ton of wooden beams. Apparently I make three of them for each of these jobs. Oh, this is going great. It's a good thing I've got a bunch of sandwiches on me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sandwiches will do the trick. Very exciting. Ooh, and another body just came in. Oh, boy. Another corpse that I can add to my collection. Maybe. I'll go down and investigate. Uh, actually, I need to go downstairs and see. Eh, you know... I think I may need nails, I may need flitches, I may need wedges, I may need uh, not metal scrap per se, but you know, metal scrap can be turned back into iron, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep. I'll make one of those. Make some billets. I think those billets will be good for what? Be good for... I, I don't really know yet. But I'm gonna keep my billets on me and head downstairs and see if I can open up one of these passageways. More, like, specifically, I'd like to open up the passageway to the church area so I can just walk underground. It's a lot easier. What do I need for that? Uh, I need four simple iron parts. I need four for that one. And... Was there a passageway to clear up here? No, okay. I I'll see after I get those iron parts then. I thought I had iron parts. Did I use them all? Oh yeah, just sandwiches. Top notch. Top notch sandwich. I can put all my wood back in here. That's great. Oh, one of those woods are actually cracked. I'm not sure if that matters. Hmm. Nope, no nails. No nails in there. Let's make simple iron parts with all the iron that I've got. Because I'm going to use it. And then I'm gonna go need to go get some iron. 
Interesting how I can collect iron, big pieces of iron ore up at the quarry, but I can't smelt it. Can't do that yet. Very interesting. What to make of that? What to make of that, my friend? I don't know. Time to clear out this path. Nice. That's all gone. Now I can pass through here freely. I do not have access to down here, but I'd like to have access. So I'll clear out some more paths. Not enough. Now I got enough. Yes. And now I can proceed this way so I can make my way to the morgue too. Awesome. This is perfect. Now I've got full access to the underground. That's great. Don't gotta worry about that no more. Sweet. Oh, look at this new body. I hope you're pleasant. Uh, let's take you off the table. Put you in the corpse pile. Let's put you on the table. What do we got? You're also a three-er. Alright, then I guess I just gotta do stuff with you guys. Let's just put you in the ground. Let's just... Let's put you in the ground, man. Nope, stop. I said in the ground. Put you in the ground. If I give you sto if I give you stone, stone graves, then there shouldn't be a problem. Put you in the ground, in the ground, in the ground. Just need more stone pieces. The merchant I can see on Claw Day. Uh, was I doing a mission for the merchant? Where's the merchant at? Oh, can I just talk to him whenever now? Oh, no, no, uh, trade license. Yeah, I don't have that yet. How much money do I have, actually? I need three silver in order to buy the proper license. But alas. Boom, boom, bottom. Putting all these bodies in the ground. Scary time to be alive, cause there's bodies in the ground. I should put some of my faith back down here in the basement. Let's go around here and do some research on things. There are some things that I can research, actually. Like this body? Maybe. I don't know. What can I research? What haven't I researched yet? Pete! For Pete's sake! What is it? Can't be, decom can't be decomposed. Alright. Um, how about... How about clay? Can that be decomposed? Oh, this is taking a long time. Cannot be decomposed. That's fine then, too. How about... Nails! Study! Study the nails! What do I get? Cannot be decomposed, but I studied it anyway. Oh, I see. Studying it, more importantly, gives you access to a bunch of different goodies. Do these things... Do any of these give... Oh, see, if I study the heart and stuff like that, I can get... Ah... Uh, that's why that's important. If I study pieces of the body, I might see what they decompose into, as well as uh, other things that may be useful at some point. Uh, advanced Grave Digger. I got another burial certificate. Sweet! Let's go back to Sweet Home so I can rest for the day. It is Claw Day. I really have no business with the merchant right now. Unless I sell him my beets. Um, I gotta see what I can sell to him anyway. Because I, I don't exactly know what yet I can sell to him. Saving in progress. Take myself to the dead horse. We'll talk to the merchant. <laughs> My nose is so itchy. Trade. Oh, right. I can't sell to you yet. What am I talking about? Right. Forgot about that. Oi, 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 oi. Tomorrow is green day, and on green day, I can talk to Snake. That's good. I wonder if the farmer's got any more seeds for me. If I buy more seeds from him, will he give me better seed options? Can I talk to your son yet? I need to finish my chores. I father would be terrifyingly angry. Okay. Gotcha, buddy. Tier 2 is after the fact, and it looks like I get access to other seeds, maybe? Pumpkin seeds, other seeds. I'm like halfway there. I can sell my carrots to you. You know, let's, let's, let's sell my carrots. Let's sell my carrots 
so I can buy some more seeds from you. Specifically, um, let's get some wheat seeds. And let's get some carrot seeds. Nice. Eventually that'll go up, right? Back to sweet home. Back over to here. I'm gonna harvest some of these crops. Eventually I'll need some compost. Oh, you know, I got a bunch of shit in my inventory. Let me take that out of it. <gasps> a new body's arrived. Yay. Let's put these nails away. Oh, whoops. Didn't want to put the sandwich away. I like the sandwich. There we go. Keep the stone on me for now, because I'm going to go back up to the quarry. Everything is prepped and ready for the harvest. Not too bad at all. This is good. I'm starting to get the whole, uh... I'm starting to get good at the whole, uh farming aspect of this. Maybe. Or at least I consider myself being pretty good. Maybe not perfect. Certainly not as good as others, but good for my standards. Ah! Oh, I have enough. Do I have... What type of seeds do I have enough of? Wheat seeds? Wheat seeds it is, then. And while I'm at it, I'll put this guy up and see... Do I have enough seeds... No, I do not. Alright. I don't want to put the peat in there. Put the hemp there. I actually, I don't know how to use hemp yet. We'll get there. Let's put all... Let's put 15 in there. Put the crop waste in there. Then I've got some greenies. Then I've got some carrots for... I don't even know what the donkey's name is, but I want to call him... Would it be insensitive to call him something Russian? Because he was using the term, like, comrade? You know what? His name is, is... His name is Sasha. Her name is Sasha. Its name is Sha... Their name is Sasha. I'm leaning into it. It's official. I'm leaning into it. Body? Body gonna be the best. What's on the table? Oh, that's a four. Wow, the bodies are just getting worse. Incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I am going to bring myself up. So as to create more pieces. Actually, bring myself into the ground. Then I can deposit some stuff in the churchful area. I can put some of my pieces down here. I have this scroll shelf. It's got paper in it. Paper's good. I have a bunch of extra paper over here, too. I don't need that. Put the story there. The sermon there. Put the paper on the paper shelf. There we go. Teleport myself up to the quarry. I have stone cuttery up here. Let's get some more of these guys. Then I'm gonna make a couple of gravestones. Four gravestones I think will be just fine for my adventure. Oh, I get faith for this? Oh, sweet! I think I already noticed that before. But I'm gonna say sweet again, because it's freaking awesome. Make some, make some sandwich. Eat some sandwiches. Can't wait to make more sandwiches. Need more meat. Need more bodies. I guess that's the cost of getting body meat from the bodies. Oh, am I gonna run out? I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna run out. There we go. Knocking. Whoops! I did not mean to eat the sandwich again, but I guess that's fine. Now I'm down here, and I can add more stuff to the graves and increase my graveyard prestige, and also take most of those minuses out of my place. Because there were quite a lot of minuses. Okie dokie. No, stop, stop. Don't chop down the... No. Bad. Barrel certificate. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. You're going to get one too. Everybody going to get some. Everybody gets some. You want some? You get some. Yeah, we'll queue up some gravestones, too. Bow down, 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 down. Grab some wood. I'll bring it back with me. I'll throw these other stone things in here. All right. 
It is green day now. I can make my way back to my homestead. Hopefully talk to Snake who's sitting in the ground. He hangs in my basement. He hangs in my catacombs. What a guy. Hanging in my catacombs all the time. I'd say he's doing me well by keeping clean down there, but... Really don't... Really don't think he's keeping it clean down there. It doesn't look very clean. There we go. Put myself over here. If Snake is downstairs, I will talk to him. Maybe Snake is a sleepy. Nope, he's standing right there. Hello, Snake. Here's the key. About the key. About that necklace. About that necklace. I was told that you could get some illegal stuff from me. I've spent the money, bought some instructions for the key, so unless you know how to turn dust into gold, then just find that necklace for her, or can't you handle it? Then just find that necklace for her, or can't you handle it? I'm Snake. I can find anything and everyone in town. And I know where this necklace is. I just can't. You know, it's really none of your business. I need to gain his trust. Maybe then he'll tell me more. Give him the key. Here's the key. Task completed. Let's open the gate. At last, one step closer. Okay, you go first. They'll see who's worthless. I'll wipe the smug looks off their faces. Who are you talking about? Oh, whoa, what is this? I'm talking about all of them. Everyone who lives in this cursed town, and everyone who thinks they're better than me just because I... Just because they have everything and I have nothing, but soon I'll have everything. Whatever, okay, I think I see what I'm looking for. I Love how I can just completely ignore you. Oh my god! What the fuck was that? I died! Oh, what just happened? Seems like I'm alive and back home. Under the circumstances, I'm not sure that's good news. I need to go back and get that diary. Did I lose stuff in my inventory? I, I don't know what just happened there. Um. Pal. Doesn't seem to me like you're going to be able to get that diary at this point. There's a trap there. Where I see my dead body. Wow, just wow. How did you do it? I don't know, I just went back to my hut. Great. I should use... I should be used to it. Life gives me lemons all the time. You're such a useless idiot. Yet you're immortal. That's totally not fair. I hate you. Pardon me? I hate you! Let me write this down. Graveyard Keeper. Can't die. Hmm. Actually, I can use your help. Now that your immortal ass is here, I've decided that I don't want to die in this dungeon. What dungeon? Right up there. It was here even before the church. Nobody knows how deep it goes. In ancient times, they nailed heretics to the walls and scorched their legs before the ancient contract. How can I help? I have my sources, so I always know where to find what I need. And at this point in my plan for retribution, a lot of the things I need are in that dungeon. First, I need a bucket of blood and five bloody nails. You should be able to find them on one of the first levels where the pagans were tortured. Sounds like someone moaning for help. Are you there? Maybe. Maybe not. This place hides many things. Not that I care. Unless it has to do with my plan. Um, I'm not seriously walking towards it. Oh. Hmm. I should check. Oh, there's a bone behind that cage, I know. I was supposedly not supposed to do that. Holy guacamole! Indeed! What a pleasant surprise! I've been so desperate to see someone again. Are you alive? Do you... Do you need help? Let's just say I'm conscious, and I'm glad you're here to kindly offer your help. My name is Gunter. There should be a lever on the right. Got it. Dink. Great, I'm surprised it's still working. Now, would you be so kind to hit me with your sword a couple times? Could you first answer a question? Please hit me first, I have felt... I haven't felt anything for so long! Oh, I don't have enough energy. Time to eat a sandwich. Nice. Oh, oh, that's good. First feeling I've had for many years. Now I'll be happy to answer your questions. Why did you ask me to hit you? Oh, my current situation, I can't. I can feel nothing. First it was a nightmare, and then I found out that I can. I can still feel pain. Doesn't feel like pain though. More like a gentle breeze, but still, it's all I have. 
I can hit you again if you like. That's very kind of you, but I must refuse. After so many years, your strikes were truly a pleasure. It'll be, it'll be a couple of years before I can feel anything that you like it. And I have too little flesh in my bones to waste it. Who are you? Like I said, I'm Gunter. Are you dead? Mm, that's a complicated question. Personally, I prefer to be called an undead person. But in popular culture, we're known as zombies. How did you um become a zomb... Or... Undead? Science! Plus a little bit of magic. The old master made me. Actually, he made a lot of us. Do my brother still work at the graveyard? No, I think there's only you. By the way, I'm the new graveyard keeper. Oh, then you should make me some more brothers. They'll be big help for you. What can I make? How can I make you undead? Oh, it's quite simple. You can find a resurrection table blueprint on the rack to your left. There should be also be a couple of bottles of the main resurrection ingredients nearby. You can make more at the alchemy desk. Do you know the recipe? Well, the second ingredient is blood. I'm not sure about the first, but I think it's some kind of powder. Will they be like you? Sadly, no. I am unique. Something went wrong with me. I was too smart. That's why the old master chained me here. I didn't fit in. I can unchain you. I've been chained up here for too long. My flesh is too rotten. Plus, I kind of like it here. How can your brothers help me? I'll make these simple crafts for you. If you give them the right gear, they'll be able to gather resources for you and even transport them. What gear? I believe one zombie should be buried under the rocks along the path to the forest. You can take him up and examine his gear. Oh. I understand now. I understand who's gonna do my work for me now. That is excellent. So that's a thing now. I've learned about zombies. That's so cool! Can I break some of this shitty equipment? Break a break a break a break a break a. Don't need that shit. Oh yeah, scrap metal. There's a table over here. I can break down this chair. Stupid chair. Got something against this chair, apparently. Something against this chair. Oh, what's this? I feel like this is gonna trap me. Nope, just kidding. I don't know what this is in here for. All right. There's a torture chamber over there. Excellent. Sounds exciting. Uh, definitely can't go in there again. Can I walk around it? Yeah, I just walk around it. Got the Keeper's Diary. And a torture chamber. Look at that. Just don't walk on top of the big red mess. Quality. Skulls in the wall. Oh. I can collect skulls to put skulls on the wall. Nice. Morbid. Like that. Well, I can't talk to the astrologer again until moon day. But I have the diary now. So that's pretty good. Got some zombie juice. Ripe. Some of that. Got the keeper's diary. Got some burial certificates. Oh, that's wonderful. That's just super, super wonderful. I should go back to the homestead, which was just upstairs, but I decided to sleep anyway, so I can take a, take a sleepy. And I think what I'll do is I will make a couple of more improvements to the graveyard. And I think that's probably where I'll end it for the night. I'm getting a little tired over here. It's almost 11 o'clock. It's basically past my bedtime. I gotta. I gotta go to sleep, get up early, make my breakfast in the morning. Or make my lunch, rather. No, I didn't want to sleep again. That was interesting. Well, I saved my progress, so that's fine. That's all fine and dandy. Time to finagle down here. Oh, I just noticed, I have more blue. I can spend that on things. What can I spend it on, though? Let's spell it. spend it on... Gardening would be nice. Uh, I kind of want to know how to make grapes and hops so I can work my way up towards um, fermentation. Let's do that. We'll do that. Um, and I have enough for grape farming. That's good. Uh, I don't yet have... Apparently I need to get something for that. I don't know. Uh, and I'm also like... I want bees. I want honey. Actually, was there anything else I wanted to spend things on? Books don't seem important right now. Cremation, work my way up to incense, it looks like. Um, I see embalming liquids. That might actually be useful. So let's let's start with embalming liquids. Then I can embalm bodies. I don't know what that does, but I guess it modifies the characteristics of the bodies. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, I just noticed there's a big spooky tree back there. Can I cut that down? Can I cut down that big spooky tree? Do I want to cut down the big spooky tree? I'm not sure if I want to. Let's continue working on this. Work, 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 work. Ah, you're beautiful now. Exquisite. I cannot cut you down. I don't think I wanted to anyway. 
You're too good. You're too good, big scary tree. Gravestone. 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 Wood. Wood, 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 wood. Bring up that all back. And I guess what I'll do too is I'll head up to the quarry and see if I can find any more like precious metals. Because apparently I can find more precious metals now. I just don't know what to do with them. Oh, I got some bodies in the morgue. I should I should take care of those. Got one on the table. You're a four-er. You might be better off as... You're a three. Yeah, you know what? Let's extract some flesh from you. We'll extract a skull from you. Because I'm collecting skulls now. Apparently. Now your body is really freaking bad. Well, it was always kind of bad. But now it's even worse. Extract some meat from there. Extract some skulls. Yeah. And then I'll like, I don't know, I'll throw your bodies in the water eventually. But not right now. I think I was keeping my parts down here. Where do I have the rest of them? More skulls in here? I don't have any more skulls in there. Oh well. Skulls. And then I have meat that I'd like to bring back up to my... My sweet home. Actually, can I craft anything else down here? Anything in particular? Ah, fermentation barrels. I can ferment things in my basement. Excellent. Need more rocks. That, that'll be another thing. Maybe we'll do a little look at alcohol next time. Next time on Cameron with an X. Alcohol. It's always been here. It's always been here. Got some more sliced meats. Let's cook them on up. It's the night time of up day. I still don't have any more news for the Inquisitor. Nothing new at least. My wheat is not yet grown. I need more iron, so let's let's go up to the Go up to the quarry. Up to the quarry. Can I mine marble yet? Is that a thing I can do? Have I discovered that yet? Oh, I can craft marble with flitches. Okay. Interesting. But now, now the question is, right? I have this iron in here, but what do I do with it? What do I do with this iron? I can't... Unless I can... Oh, I can, I, I can actually extract it from the iron ore. That's, that's what I was hoping I could do. There we go. That ain't too bad. Plenty of iron. Oh, I'm so close to the amount. So let's make let's eat a sandwich just to make up for it. I'll make my way back down to Sweet Home. So there's some of that iron in here. That's all I've got enough for for now. Put the rest of the iron in here. Along with some flitches, some metal scrap, some simple iron parts, some stone that I've got. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for me. Everybody, it's been fun. Actually, actually, I'm going to make myself some more sandwiches first. I think I can do that. Sandwich? Oh, I don't got no bread. I need more dough, which means I need more wheat. I'm working on that. Everybody... Thank you all for joining me once again on this morbid journey of ours. We're making some more progress over here. Absolutely. Faith doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. Neither does blue points. We're figuring things out. But now, next time, we can get into the fun that is beekeeping. There's apparently alcohol in this game. Like, isn't that cool? I'm cool with that. I'm into it. So, that's what we're going to go with. To everybody, uh, we're going to give a warm, warm midnight... Midnight-ish welcome. It's not midnight. It's like 11. Midnight-ish welcome to our pal Neko, who is also streaming right now. And hopefully I don't knock any pineapple juice over or chips on the desk. Really great time. As per the usual, I really enjoyed it, everybody. It's a good, good time. You all are awesome. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your night. Day, evening, twilight, dawn. I don't know what time zone you're in, but that's really none of my business. I'm in the Eastern Standard Time time zone, and I don't know whether or not we're on Daylight Saving Times or not now, but it doesn't really matter. Time zones are weird. UTC, my friend.
ETC. Anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful, a wonderful, just have a wonderful. So long, pretties.